Oh, hold on. That's not the right one. Uh, oops. Gonna take a quick. Oh, there we go. But I do that. So weird that I'm saying my process out loud, but yeah. Oh, wow. Don't worry, guys. We're gonna do this intro right. And we're going to do it proper because there are a lot of mistakes because I'm low level. Even though I'm getting better at this, I'm still low level. There we go. All right. That, there, there we go. That's the good stuff, Mary. All right. Oh, dang. Already people in here? Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> Dang, yeah, no, RZ, thank you, thank you for coming, loyal viewers. All right, cool. Now, now let's do this. There we go. Something dramatic. Like my dramatic entrance. Yeah, hurry the app, rock and roller. I'm gonna take my sweet time. Yeah. There we go. I'm, I'm building up hype. We're opening up Pokemon cards, but not just any Pokemon. We're doing shining fates to get that shiny V Max Charizard. Oh jeez, I dropped that ad though. And we're doing Champion's Path, and that will be the final one before I send whatever good pulls I get from this and all these other badass cards that I've collected to the PSA organization. That is right. I turn off the annoying piano music. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. I'm trying to be dramatic. Thank you. Elena gets it. And yeah, in case you haven't noticed, guys, um, I'm doing this both on Twitch and YouTube. I enjoy the dual streaming. I'm kind of glad I actually got it. But dang, I got a new friend request. Oh, hells yeah. I'll, I'll look at that later, whoever did that on Twitch. Uh, but yeah, I got... Oh, wait, multi-stream. That's how I can see everyone, right? Yay! I can see everyone now. Cool. Yes, I see Kelsey. I see Elena. Hells yeah. What up, people? That's right. It says zero viewers, but I see you guys. Damn, Cedar Cam. Wow, so many loyal people. I feel like these analytics are way off because it says zero people are watching, yet I literally count four people on Twitch and then, like, different people on this platform there we go yeah i got both of these open now i'm bad at youtube right now i'm 13 on twitch elena do not do this to me you we we, we know each other in real life you're not 13 but yeah guys we're doing a final unboxing i got vaccine blood running through me got the pfizer oh oh man my arm does not look attractive i got the pfizer today <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah no it's not showing to me Streamlabs sucks i gotta say Streamlabs obs sucks i think obs is way better and obs treats the youtube people like shit which pisses me off even more because they're just as loyal as the people on twitch and i only am doing twitch because the people on youtube are like let's do twitch come on you should get a twitch and so i feel so bad for obs but yeah i got the pfizer vaccine running through me Literally no side effects. It's free. It's easy to get. I would say show up as early as you can because my appointment was like 1240. I showed up at 12. I thought that was too early, but I ended up getting out at like 120. So make sure you show up early, you know, uh, <laughs> as early as you want. It doesn't matter. At least for LA where you do the drive through Young Fish, did you pull anything yet? I literally have not started yet, but... I literally just started this as I was getting to the explanation. Thank you for joining, Young Fish. You must be new. And if not, thank you for the support, regardless if you're new or not. But yeah, we're doing two boxes of Champion's Path. Two boxes of Shining Fates. Because as you guys can see... Here, uh, fuck fucking my main cam. That's why I'm glad being back home. Oh, jeez. My key light's just throwing things off. But 
Yeah, as you guys can see, I got my main GBI Egyptian gods. Some of these are made on Sunday. Whoa, young fish! Oh my god, thank you for the follow, dude. Hells yeah, young fish, follow me on Twitch. Hells yeah, dude. Dude, this is awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. As you can see, zooms in. Jeez, thank you. Wow. People already criticizing me hella hard for my mad streaming skills. But meanwhile, Youngfish is showing the real support. He ain't talking shit on me. He's actually fucking following me on Twitch. He probably already followed me on YouTube on Mega Awesome Nerd. Like, like Youngfish sets a good example of how to be a good participant. But yeah, as you guys can see... I got these Egyptian God cards, not just any one, the original GBI ones. So these are the actual original Egyptian cards, Egyptian God cards, getting them ranked by the PSA, make them go from a few hundred to a few thousand. I got the Ghost, oh, Ghost Rare Raw. I got some of the McDonald's stuff, because even though McDonald's is still doing their stuff and they do reprints, once the McDonald's 25th anniversary is gone, Definitely these starters right here are going to be worth some stuff. And, you know, let's be honest, I don't sell any of these. <laughs> these are all personal collection. And, you know, if I die untimely, then whoever gets my shit gets to sell these. And it's bragging rights. My shiny Suicune, sending that in. And then I'm sending in the, the, the VMAX, the, 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 the Pikachu V. Like, one of my favorite ones. Pikachu's is naturally going to be worth a lot. And I was going to send these two just because, you know, because everyone likes Bay, And then, you know, Charizard just because of the Zard, even though it's promo. But PSA doubled their prices. So, <laughs> I mean, picky. So, before I sent them off to the PSA, I was like, these cards are coming. Why not do one last one? Um, <laughs> I'm only because I love Avery. Elena, I love you. Oh, Keep calling me, Daddy. Oh, Dang, Rock and Roller 91 is following me on Twitch now. Thank you so much. Jeez. I didn't even start opening the cards yet. <laughs> this is insane. Y'all are beautiful people. Thank you so much. Oh my god. I ain't scalping, man. See, Cam, I see you trying to tarnish my bad name. Yeah, I'm scalping to the afterlife, bro. You know, once I die, I don't give a fuck who these cards get to. Because, you know, I'm dead. I'm not going to be able to enjoy them. I would bury them with me, but I don't know if I would my corpse would enjoy it. Because I'm dead. So whoever gets these cards. The value is more for whoever I leave it behind for. But just to show you guys. How fresh off the press. These champion pass are. And shining pass. I literally did not open the box. They came in. That's right. I got two big ass motherfucking boxes. Sent from TCG player. That I bought. They came in express. And so, we are literally opening these live. So either they're going to be legit ones, or I'll be super embarrassed and they're not legit ones. But hey, the difference between me and the young dumb money guys is that I'll actually be able to notice the difference. And I'll be able to get my money back. And Because you know what? It's still good content. <laughs> and I'm not being scammed by the collectible guru directly in my face. Dude, give a bubble store. No one gets reported <laughs> trying to fucking frame me, trying to blackmail me, get that bubble sword. Hell no. So guys, even though a pen doesn't usually cut stuff, I you know we'll use a screwdriver. I got ridiculous man strength, so I can cut stuff. But yeah, as you guys can see, package, not gonna show anything. Also, guys, just a reminder, get vaccinated. It's free. You're literally saving the lives not only yourself, your loved ones, but everyone you come to encounter with. And plus it's so easy to get vaccinated. There's really no side effects at all. Unless, of course, you're one of the few rare people that that can't get vaccines because they are allergic to them. In that case, that's why we need to get herd immunity to protect those people that are immunocompromised that, that can't get vaccines for whatever reason. So do it today if you can. Don't be on the fence. We're opening this. I'm being careful not to show my address because I do not want to get you know, strangers all up in me. Okay, cool. So look at this. We got bubble wrap. We got we got we got a little business card. I don't give a shit about this business card, but let's read it anyway. Uh, thank you for your order from Nodaka Nodak Rips. 
What is this, like some bait and a shit? Look at this. Look, look, here, hold on. We'll switch to the TCG cam. Get ourselves acquainted with it. Uh, there we go. So yeah, look. Look at this. Look at that. Nodak rips. So this is the people who gave me whatever's in this box. So shout out to Nodak rips. Crack that box open, baby. Good luck. Hells yeah. Thank you, young fish. Saw a fight stock today on Pokemon cards. Oh, really? Give me the link to that. I'd be down to watch that after doing the opening. Because I was going to play games today. But yesterday, I hit my knee really hard. <laughs> and I think I busted it because it's hella sore whenever I try to walk or bend on it. So, <laughs> I'm not doing video games today. But I want to do the card opening because I'm, I'm a freak. <laughs> And I thought it'd be a cool way to pass the time on not trying to move my knee. Yeah, we got two Champions Packs. E for $70. So, they've gone down a bit in price. But, the cards value have not. And as we can see here. Ooh. That sounded like James right there. Look at that. Pristine, clean line. Um, I don't see anything shady. To where this says this is tampered with, so I say that this is Gucci. Gotta put that right there. Uh, same with this second one. So yeah, Nodak Rip. You guys can tell if it's been tampered with because if it's tampered with, you'll probably see like a little nick or something, and then they'll like try to reseal it. That's going like horizontal, like the way I'm moving the screwdriver. Or what they'll do is they'll also have it on the fourth side when there's supposed to be nothing there. But th this is clean. So, we got that. Ugh. Sorry for the burps. I'm a gross guy. I know. I'll blast it on stream. Let me see. Fly ice casket. You should alternate ice and hot packs to help your knee. You need the knees, dude. All right, cool. I'll do that. Wow. I love it, man. You, wow, the chat is so active, guys, dude. Yeah, if you guys want to ask me anything or whatever... I'm always looking at the chat. I have it on low latency, so I should be able to read it pretty fresh. If not, I apologize. That's Streamlabs OBS. I'm thinking just getting rid of Streamlabs OBS once my um, Prime on it has worn off. Because, yeah, it do be acting dookies. Let me see. This box is a lot more complicated. Like, look at this box. It's packed so fucking weird. I think out of all, this is the shining one. It, dude, if this shining one ends up having fakes and shit, I'm going to be so mad. I feel like out of all the ones, this one's probably going to be the sketch one. The one I have to worry about being, like, tampered with or fake. But these guys had, like, good reviews on TCG Player, so I'm trusting them. I don't trust their packing skills, though. Like, what kind of fucking box is this? Oh, yeah, no, the Sonic shirt, I love Sonic the Hedgehog, bro. Like, straight up, I got the Amiibo here, and then, hold on. I got long arms. I got this chilling behind the camera. Just this epic statue, I love it. But, like, Sonic, I'm a huge fan of Sonic. Like, top three video game series either. Mario's my number one pick. Sonic is second. So he's actually top two, then Pokemon's third. But my favorite video game of all time is Super Smash Brothers, though. So, don't get that mistaken. Favorite Pokemon? Gonna sound hella basic. Pikachu. I fucking love Pikachu. But before you doubt that, hey, he's just saying that to be gentle. Watch me be lazy. It also flex. Hold on. Whoop. I got this claw arm just to be funny. And as lazy as possible when someone dared me to try to be as lazy as possible. But just to show you guys how much of a Pikachu fan I am. Ugh. There we go. Hello, lazy. These two Pikachu stuffed animals are from when I was like five or seven. Like, I hate Raichu. Don't... Don't, everybody knows, I think Raichu's a complete dick, like, don't get me started on the Raichu rant, cause like, 
like like somebody talked about Raichu and I hurt their feelings about how much I hated Raichu. Which, if you like Raichu, that's cool on you. But every single Raichu has been an asshole. There's never been a single good Raichu in the single history of the Pokemon anime. Some people try to point me to the new one because like, oh, Go's Raichu is good, but. But let's be honest, we, we all know that fucker's gonna plan something sneaky. Like, like that motherfucker's gonna just pull a switch on us and just fucking yeet Pikachu or some shit. But, yeah. These are from when I was like five or six. And I still have them to this day. This is regular Pikachu. And then, this is Can You Talk Pikachu. But the batteries ran out, so I need to change it. Which, you know what? At the end of the stream, I'll change. And, see, and we'll see if it still works, the voice box. But I fucking hate Raichu so much. Even Alolan Raichu, which is supposed to be the surfer chill one, is such a fucking dick to Pikachu. And that episode where they're doing the race for the Masadas. Like, fuck Raichu, dude. Seriously. There's a reason why Ash's Pikachu refused to evolve into Raichu. Because Pikachu knows he'll be tainted and become the biggest fucking prick in all of Pokemon. Raichus are just synonymous with being the biggest assholes ever. Like, like, no cap. <laughs> Alright, guys. I think we're getting the second box open. And then after Raichu, um, Mewtwo is my second favorite, then Charizard, then Gengar, and then after that, I like Garchomp, and then Glysaur is another favorite of mine. Um, let me see, who else? I really like Decidueye. Um, he's been moving up recently to my top tens. Um, Ditto's also another favorite of mine. I just love the concept of Ditto. Snorlax. And what's cool is that a lot of my favorite Pokemons, even if they're not competitively viable, I still use them. Okay, whoo. This is interesting. Um, <laughs> so this first one looks clean. Ish. Like, it's weird. The packing is pristine, so I guess that's why they did the weird packing, but this one looks... Actually, no. This one looks a little sketch, and you want to know why? This area... Let's, let's, let's get a zoom in on that. Bros, we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna have some real jank shit, dude. Look at that. That's a little bit... Notice how it's not a straight line right there? It's more of a... Whatever. So notice how there's not a straight line right there? Let me get the focus on that. Yeah, notice how it's uh, it's hard to see with the light, but notice how it's more of like a, instead of a straight line, it's more kind of like a curve. I'm trying to do this opposite. But yeah, right there is just doing a weird curve. So if I'm a betting man, I'm thinking this is possibly tampered with. What also makes me kind of sure that this is tampered with is uh glad i'm doing this live on stream because if it is tampered with i can get my money back this second one um you don't see that but look at that shit <laughs> which tells me either this is factory poorly packed also look at that right there which tells me it's either poorly packed or someone's trying to fuck with my cards bro we're gonna find out when we open this i'm gonna bro if, if my cards are fucked with i'm gonna be so mad like, it's weird. Even when I'm mad, I'm, like, still chill. But what the fuck? <laughs> this is going to be fun. Um, let me see. First pack magic today or last pack magic. What's your guess? Hmm. Dude, I'm going to say first pack magic. I feel like the first pack is going to define how each box goes that we get. I, I feel that. Because usually that's how my luck is. If I get... My luck is so weird. Either I get ridiculously bad luck or I get ridiculously good luck. And then that's when the ridiculously bad luck comes in. Usually I'm ridiculous and lucky, but with card pulls, I usually am. And I think somehow then the universe tries to balance it out by fucking up something else in my life. And recently in my personal life, I've been putting together a film and some random issues have been coming up out of nowhere recently all in one day. So I'm wondering if that's the universe balancing out me getting the vaccine and plus also whatever's in these boxes. Like, so I'm hoping, I'm hoping 
all this coincidental bias factor, by, by, you know, bias hindsight factoring that I'm doing right now justifies, ends up being justified because there's something good in these packs. Cody wants to write you? Fuck Cody, man. Co Cody doesn't know dick what he's talking about, man. He fucking likes Raichu over Pikachu. Cringe. What about Mew? Shining Mew card is so cute. If you have the recording and open it as fake, it should be okay. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Because a lot of these companies, sometimes they'll like try to be all like, Oh man, no, you opened it. Plus there's really no proof you can prove that stack. But I'm literally streaming it, so... And I literally showed myself opening up their packaging. So, if anything, I think I should be fine. But, I don't know what to start with, guys. Guys, what should we start with? Should we try? Should we go full Charizard first? Going for the Rainbow Charizard? Should we go for the, um, or should we go for the Shining Fates? And go full Shining Fates? Or should we alternate between the two? First person to tell me what they want, I'll do it. First person to tell me how, how we should open up these cards, I'm gonna do it that way. It's a race. We'll see we'll see who wants who we'll see who wants it more. As I open up the the TCG player card price guide. Oh, I think we got a response. Uh, champions then switch. All right, cool. So wait, okay. So so young fish, you definitely got it first. You beat rock and roller, who just came in right after you and said, "Let's see if they're fake." Um, so champions, then switch. So does it, so rock, so young fish. Does that mean we're going both champions path and then shiny, or are we alternating? So tell if we're alternating, just type in alternating. If we're, if we're going full throttle, type in full throttle. Here to show some love to you, Mega. Smash like for this awesome guy. Thank you so much for the support, Gur Gang. I really appreciate it. Huge Pokemon fan and really nice guy right here. NA alternate. NA alternate. So I so so I guess we're alternating. That's what I'm meaning. Hey, you might want to know. Last night I had a dream, and that is face to face with magic as a spell. Initially turned into magic as a spell. And I mean like for real. Oh. Really cool dream. I like it. When you turn to your favorite character. I had a weird dream last night. That. That like. For some reason. Ethan from like H3H3. Street, Street was like. Like we're hanging out for some reason. Which is like really super weird. Because I don't know the guy. In real life. And then like. For some reason he said. Do you want to burn in hell? And I was all like. What? And suddenly his neck just does a 360. And he starts coughing all over me. And I'm like, what? And then suddenly he started morphing into like so many different people. And they all started coughing on me trying to give me COVID. And like they were pinning me down and I couldn't escape. And then they're like, hope you enjoyed the vaccine in your grave. And then that's when I woke up in like sweat. So I don't know what I did to get that nightmare. But that happened. <laughs> But yeah, I, I I'm glad I'm glad you got to become magic as a spell. That sounds way more pleasant. All right, guys. So, young fish wants us to alternate. So we are starting with the champions path. Bada bing, bada boom. You see it right here. I'm looking at the site. Um, the goal here is the either the secret rainbow V Max Charizard, which is worth like an easy three hundred bucks, or the Charizard V Secret Rare, where it's completely shiny. So we got a we, we, we got a pretty tall order here. Um, I'll show you guys on the website right here. Yeah, as you can see, we got two goals. Either Charizard V Secret Rare, the shiny variant of the Charizard V that came in like um not vivid is it vivid voltage? Either that or um or it was a blaze. It was one of the darkness ablaze. I think wherever the Charizard V, I think it came from a, a dark a darkness ablaze. Um, I had the regular Charizard V. This one has the Charizard V secret rare of that, which is why you're not gonna see any shining fates. And of course we have the Charizard V Max Rainbow secret rare. So that's what we're chasing for in the champions path. 
everything else is like pretty cool, but it's not like, oh, let's send it to the PSA. We're trying to get cards to send to the PSA. Do I plan on selling these cards? Probably not. Maybe the Charizard VMAX just because I don't have an attachment to Sword and Shield yet. But I plan on playing Sword and Shield on Twitch next week. Or the end of this week. I haven't figured it out yet. So maybe by then I'll form an attachment and I won't sell the Charizard VMAX. But here we go. We're opening it now. And you know what? We don't have any cards yet. So we'll just see if we up close. So yeah, we open it. Boop. Player's Guide has all the info about the Mons, but we already know that. Boop. I'm only showing this for like the first packs, that way new viewers can see what's in them. And of course, the rule book. The difference between the Player Guide and the rule book is one teaches you how to play the game. Another one teaches you, hey, which shit's most collectible. You also get tokens for like Poison and also Burn. Or not burn. Yeah, it is burn. My bad. And then, of course, damage die and a regular die. Remove this weird thing. And then you get sleeves. We're not going to use those sleeves, though. We got clear ones because we ball them like that. Charizard B promo variant. So we're going to put that. Oh, this one is warped. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's definitely warped. Oh, That's why, fun fact, you know how the people do the card tricks so the hollows appear at the end? That's because they put the hollows in the middle so that way they don't get warped like that. That's why they do that. Then of course, dividers. And then after that, energy card. So new viewers. And then... Last but not least, besides a white code card that I'm about to reveal. So all you white code card simps, I mean uh, chimps, uh, I realize you're not allowed to say that word on Twitch even though I'm on YouTube. But I did not say the S word, I said chimps. You know, like like chimps, like monkey like. <laughs> so we're good. <laughs> but yeah, besides the white code card. So get ready for all you white code card enthusiasts. We have that, and then we have the 10 packs. So I'm just ready to get started. So I'm switching to that. Here's your white code cards for all you guys that like that white code card shit and all about that life. There we go. Boom. Gonna put that there. All right. We got 10 packs right here. I'm gonna move all of my... Uh, PSA cards somewhere else. This is from the old one. My desk is a mess in case you haven't tell in case you can't tell. But it's chill though. It's chill. It's like an organized mess, you know? Like <laughs> I know what's going on on my desk, you know? So it's it, it so it's fine. Doesn't mean my life is falling apart yet. That's until after graduating film school. Getting that BA, not BA, MFA. So we got the first pack, Champions Path. Ooh. So I thought that each one is guaranteed like a hollow and reverse hollow for this specific one. Because the last Champion Pass we opened, we were constantly, the whole time, we got every single time we got a hollow and a reverse hollow every single time. We didn't get like one of those reverse hollow and then just rare. So I thought that was the case. But according to some people... And especially after last time's disappointing opening, um, apparently that's not the case. And then I was like, man, this is definitely not worth 150 bucks. But then I realized, because I'm so used to like buying them kind of upmarked a bit, especially in Yu-Gi-Oh! Booster Box, it's like, wow, actually, no way. They're supposed to be 50 bucks, but the demand makes them worth like 120 or whatever. So it actually does bounce out. It's just that, you know, with Roll... But well, the whole craze of like Pokemon just being suddenly popular again and modern Pokemon too, that's what causes the whole influx in price. So it makes sense. So fuck scalpers is what I'm trying to say. And then of course, we got this code card. 
Um, there you go. Hope you got it memorized. Putting all the code cards right here for at the end. In case some random person's like, hey, can you show the code cards? And it's like, dude, we already did that, but okay. And then there we go. So we got fire. We got, oh, a hat turn. Hat turn looks cute. We got uh, so Sonia. Okay, Beedrill. Machop. Ekans. Swabble. Inkay. Hatterina. Come on, autofocus. Weedle reverse. Okay, and then what do we get? Oh, Machamp Hollow. That's pretty cool. There you go. Oh, now you focus. You know what? Hold on. I'm going to fidget with the camera a bit because I hate having to wait autofocus on it. So I'm wondering. Do, 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 do. Card cam. Um, configure video. There we go. Um, there we go. So I want it there. So let's see. Focus. So then let's boost that focus up a bit. All right, there we go. Much better. Yeah, fuck autofocus. There we go. There we go. That looks hella better. There we go. Yeah, I'm going to have to wait for the autofocus. Perfect. So we're going to sleeve the Machamp and the Weedle, of course. Even though the Weedle probably worthless. Machamp is probably worth a bit. But you know, guys, it's about treating the cars with respect. You just try to get your hands on some shiny V, Japanese shiny fates. There's something to see in person. Yeah, I'm with you. Um, I do more American just because... I don't know. Like, like I, I I, feel like once I'm getting... Once I've gotten more income, disposable income, I think I'll start switching to collecting Japanese. English usually tends to be more valuable. Because usually most collectors... Uh, when it comes specifically to TCG stuff, especially Pokemon, are English... Then followed by Japanese, and then you know the other language. That's why if you have like a PSA 10 first edition base set Charizard, but it's in Spanish, it's still going to get you a lot of money, but it's not going to get you like $400,000 of money, you know? And that's unfortunate. But, but yeah, I just never had the disposable income to really go after the Japanese stuff. But I want to. It's just I can't afford it yet. But one day I will be able to. So I'm going to put those there. On my bed where it's safe. <laughs> you can tell. Wow. <laughs> damn, damn, damn C cam. Cedar cam fucking calling me out for my messy ass life. So there we go. We got second champions path. Like, it's messy, but it's organized. Everything has a purpose. And then some of it's just trash. But, you know, maybe it's covering something important. I'm going to clean it anyway, you know, pretty soon. It's just that I had all this busy stuff. Spring break was... I really needed this spring break. It was so relaxing. Gonna move that out of the way. There we go. So here's your code card. For all you people who want it. There you go. Cool. And then after that... I'm gonna make sure I move that keyboard out of the way so I don't accidentally hit anything. So I'm going to take one, two, three, four cards. Put them to the front. There we go. So the hollow's in the back. Because we are for no longer, we do not need the hollow being protected from bending. Oh, Bentini. Oh, I wish that was a hollow, but oh well. Kalu. Leon. Let me see, Carvana, Swalu, Sizzlepedal. I wonder what it turns into. Sizzlepedal always looked cool to me. Ekans. Oh, it's a reverse. And Hatterene. There we go. So, see, we're getting hollows in this one at least. 
Last time we were getting stuff that straight up wasn't hollow. And I was like, this has to be an air pack. Because, like, otherwise, what makes the champion's box worth the extra price tag, you know? Because, like, besides the energy card and shit, you know? From, like, a collectible aspect. Because we need to think about it. Yeah, they designed the product for, like, either new or advanced people. But for the advanced people, you have to make it worth it. Because they're probably going to already have all the stuff, like, the energy cards and stuff. So it's like... How do you make that marketable to where those people who already have all this stuff that you're giving to new players to incentivize them to buy this pack, what are you doing to make it worth their while, um, you know, you know, for the advanced people who already have all that? And so, yeah, the, the cards, the variants, and, you know, the rare unique cards are good, but it's not good enough. You got to do something else. So I think having them all each guarantee hollows is the way to go. So I'm wondering if the last time we got an air pack. We got, we got another one. Champion's Path. Ooh la la. Oh yeah, if my phone goes off, that means I'm about to snipe on eBay. I'm not going to show you guys what it is because I don't want some troll. Yeah, I mean, but I'm getting some kind of collector thing that's Pokemon related. And then I'll officially stop spending money on Pokemon for like a good while. Because I want to save up for like you know, post-grad life. Make sure I'm all settled in. Get a spreadsheet for my finances. Alright. Alright, so we got that code card. There you go. For all you code card lovers, there you go. There's the code card. Don't have it? Uh, you gotta rewind. And then, guys, you're probably going to see, this is probably, like, I don't want to say the last thing you're going to see me with the hair, but I am planning to cut my hair once the second vaccine comes in, which is March 23rd, because my hair was a social experiment. I wanted to see how long I could grow out my hair until the pandemic was officially declared over. So from day one, I stopped cutting all my hair. Rubbish. Potion. Leon. Nicket. Problematic name. Zigzagoon. Reverse hollow. And. Oh! Gardevoir V, but it's not the rainbow! Damn! Oh, wow. Wow. But look how beautiful that thing is. Oh, wow. Nice. I love it, man. Yeah, no, this Gordivar V, it does look sick. I love Gordivar. Um, it's three bucks, but hey, I'll take it. That's a cool card. You know? I do this for the collecting, not for the money. But if there's a card I don't like, and it's worth money, then I'll sell it. Or, you know, give it to a friend for free. Or for a good chunk of change. If it's like a, th if it's like a thousand dollar card, fuck friendship. It's like... I'll give you a discount, though. Well, fuck friendship. <laughs> like, 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 no amount of friendship will make me not sell a $1,000 card, you know, that I don't, no, I'm not interested in keeping. But it is such a gorgeous card, like, let's just look at it one more time. Damn. I just love the way the hollow reflects, like, that is so good, and it's a full art, too. This is really good. I love it. Hells yeah. That's a good pull. Not the best pull. No, nah, we can do better. But this is a pretty good pull. It would have been sick if it came from this pack, though. But we'll take it. So here we go. Another one. Are you going to get the rainbow or the secret rare Charizard? Let's, 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 let's roll the dice. I don't know why I said let's multiple times. Like, is it this some kind of Yu-Gi-Oh intro? Aw, snap. Here we go. Alright, trying not to show you guys any spoilers for the commons, but we all know what we're really here for. Code card. There you go. Hope you got your code card fix. You can always pause and get all these codes. Raise them to all the people who are competing against you for the precious code cards. There we go. We got Water Energy. Wawa. We got Milo. Ooh. We got Great Ball. Ooh. 
Absol. I love Absol. Absol is such an underrated Pokemon. I think he's hella cool. I don't think he's trying to be too edgy like some people think he is. Or she. It can be a she. Hatterena. Oh, is that a little sneak peek? Uh-oh. My bad, guys. But, uh, oh, looks like we may have gotten something good. Weedle. Machop Reverse. Okay. What do we get? Ooh. Yo, Lucario V! Let's go! I love Lucario, man. Hells yeah. That's a good-ass pull. It's probably not worth a lot. Because <laughs> it's Lucario. And it's a fighting type. In the TCG. I heard Lucario's not that great. But I could be wrong. Yeah, it's, it's two bucks. But I love the art style. This is something I would hang on my wall. Because behind me over here, I have like a bunch of... Pokemon or Yu-Gi-Oh cards I want hanging. And for the PSA stuff, I plan on putting it on a shelf. So something like this, I'd put on my wall. Because look at that card. It's really gorgeous. Not worth a lot. But it just goes to show you the quality of the Pokemon, you know, trading card game. When you get, like, such a gorgeous card. <laughs> Hells yeah. And the, and the chat is hype about this, too. Like, I'm glad you guys are loving this Lucario. Because I love it, too. Clearly, all these people buying up cards don't. Which is a crime because that card is so beautiful. It's criminally underrated by the fact that so many people aren't buying that card where it's only worth two bucks. Like, come on. It's probably because it's not competitively viable. You know, it's weird because Lucario is such a popular Pokemon too. So you think it'd be worth higher, but we'll see. Maybe Diamond and Pearl. Maybe Shining Diamond. Maybe Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl will like bring up its value again. Whenever that comes out, you know, in November. Probably. It's always... They always release a Pokemon game in November. It's like, whenever they say fall. Because it always lands on my birthday. So, <laughs> that's like a free birthday gift for me. My parents still give me birthday gifts. Probably because I also pay money and give them gifts too. So, like... There you go. Code card. Ludicrous Lucario. Yeah, no, I'm with you. It's ludicrous that Lucario is not worth a lot, apparently. Because that card is so fucking beautiful. And, of course, we're not really examining the card's quality. Unless it's, like, a big pull. Because, you know, that shit, we're going to get sent graded. There we go. We got BD. I heard that's the rival for this new one. BD looks like a little bitch. Feels like we could beat him easy. BD looks like the kind of person that probably wears socks with their sandals. Unironically. <laughs> or not for traditional reasons, you know? Okay, so we got Really Lock, Reverse Hollow, and... Okay, Scrappy. Alright, cool. Yeah, solid. I don't know what to say about uh, Scrafty. Because I like its pre-evolved form better. I, think, I, I don't know, Scrafty's kind of a letdown, like, design-wise, but that's just my personal opinion. Oh, yeah, pro tips for, like, when you're handling cards. Um, you know, you always want to grab them by the edge like that. You always want to be light with your grabs, but just tight enough to where you have complete control of it. You also want to make sure your fingers are positioned, regardless if you haven't seen it yet or not. Towards the top, so that way your finger doesn't touch the hollow there. Like, look, I'm still not touching the hollows, but I'm still pointing it out. Because, yeah, you don't want fingerprints on it. Because that could actually affect your PSA rating. If you get fingerprints on there. Because either your fingers are going to put fingerprints on there, or your skin may actually end up scratching it up and causing print lines or print damage. So you always want to avoid touching the hollow side as much as you can. Oh, he raps in his free time. <laughs> oh, you're talking about Ludacris Lucario being a rap. Oh, you're talking about Lucario being a rapper? Yo, I can actually see that. Notorious. <laughs> you know, oh, you know who else could be a rapper? Pikachu. Notorious P-I-K. Sending much love to you, Mega. Good luck with your polls. Good job showing how to handle cards. No, thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it, dude. I, Gerd Gang, I hope you're, I hope, I can't wait to see what your opinion is 
on my first mega video that's going to come out next week. That's what I'm projecting called Poke Clout because I really go in depth about the whole Pokemon um, polling craze. I'm very critical about some of the clock goblins that are trying to ruin it, like Logan Paul and stuff. And I go into, like, you know, why, you know, why it's such a highly respected and, like, you know, popular hobby in the first place. My mind's gonna explode like crazy. <laughs> I got a Pikachu tatted with an Expos hat. Oh, hells yeah, dude. See, you were probably. Notorious PIK's original manager, you know? Elena, what's the... Uh, Elena, what's the cool tattoo you got? Because I noticed you got some new ink, girl. Is this still... The, is your favorite still the astronaut? Crazy for... But crazy for a reason. Am I right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's crazy for a good reason. I think... Yo, because people say that... I say that this Pokemon boom is even more popular when Pokemon was at its peak in the 90s. Like, I think Pokemon's gone to a new level of popularity never imagined before. Reverse Hollow and a Hollow of Marine, but it's like the, um, not the full art. Uh, Excuse me, so it's probably not worth a lot. Yeah, 46 cents. If it was full art, though, I bet you that Marine would be worth a lot. Because, uh, you know, she, uh, she's a girl, and the internet's gross and creepy sometimes. They're like, oh, yeah, oh, girl, poke, girl, girl Pokemon, huh? Uh, there's gotta be weird about this. <laughs> oh, yeah, and of course, with the verse hollows, you know, that's why you also want to have things on the edge, so you then, you know, touching the art here is probably safe and fine, but, you know. Touching the holographic reverse part. It's a lot more harder to navigate. But it's like you want to avoid touching it as much as you can. Until you sleeve it. And then once we get something that's box top worthy. I'll show you guys how to box top properly. Who do you think is the biggest baddest Pokemon? Ooh. That's a good question. Ooh. 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 That's a hard one. That's a really hard one. Because there's so many good choices. There really is. But, okay. Mm. Yo, okay. Hold on. I I have a top three. But you guys clearly don't want me to punk out and say, like, a top three. You guys clearly want me to give a definitive answer and opinion to judge and call shit. And then come up with your own, right? So... Here's your white code card. But with that said, I think the biggest, baddest Pokemon is fucking Rayquaza. And let me tell you why. Let me let me tell you why. Rayqua okay, because cause you got big, bad legendaries like Palkia and Dialga that can control space and time. Arceus, who's a god, you know? And Garantina and like, you know. And then you got Mewtwo and Kyrie. You get, you get got all the big brawlers. But... But, but, you know, Arceus doesn't really control Palkia and Dialga, you know? He's just, they just, like, coexist together. And Arceus is just God, you know? He doesn't really tell them what to do. Um, Kiram, you know, Reshiram and Zekrom were, like, a part of them. But, you know, then got separated. But, you know, he doesn't really control them. Rayquaza controls Kyogre and Groudon. And it's not like Kyogre and Groudon are, like, pushovers. One literally controls lava. It can terraform the entire earth to a barren wasteland if they want to. And, you know, make everyone die of a heat death and just turn them into jerky. And the other one can literally drown us all in an instant if it wanted to. Both Kyogre and Groudon are super fucking scary. And we're not even talking about their primal form. You know, first Absol and... Oh, Waylord V! Okay. Um, that card is sick. I like Waylord. I th he's one of my favorite uh, water Pokemons from um, from the Hoenn region. Like, I remember always getting him. Like, I refuse to get any other water Pokemon unless it was Mudkip. You know, and that, you know, you have to pick up a start as you're like your starter, but. Damn, look at that Wailord V. 
Look at that guy. The one shame about Waylord V, or not not Waylord V, Waylord, is that in uh, the GameCube games, and I think Pokemon Revolution 2 for the Wii, they made him gigantic and huge. But ever since the Pokemon company became super lazy, they make his model hella small now. And it's so fucking disappointing. Waylord deserves better. He deserves to be fucking huge, you know? But Rayquaza, yeah, Kyogre and Groudon, they're both titanic behemoths and literally can just end the world if they wanted to, literally on their own. And in fact, when they fight together, they literally cause the whole world to get terraformed and shit. But Rayquaza is so powerful, he's not only able to stop both of them, but he also fucking fights like Deoxys and like other space invaders. Like how badass do you have to be? To where, to where you, have, to where your job, where you're so fucking powerful, you have so much clout. Literally, even the most primal version of Kyogre and Groudon are just fucking terrified of you, and will just chill out as soon as you show up. And then you're like, okay, cool, I gotta fight fucking Thanos in space. <laughs> like, how badass is that? So I, and there's no other legendary that come close to that. So that's why I think. It causes the biggest and baddest. It's a hard question. I can tell you for sure that my wife, it's the fattest one. Um, the fattest one. I'm trying to think of which legendaries are the fattest. Unless you're talking about Snorlax, but are we talking about Guzzlord? Okay, here's the thing about the Ultra Beast. And then I'll get to Gurgain's question about... Pokemon popularity because yeah, Pokemon Gurgang, you're right about Pokemon being ridiculously more pop, uh, more popular now than ever. I would say it surpassed its original top peak popularity. Like Pokemon has never been this popular before, and that's a crazy to imagine because Pokemon at its peak was ludicrous and powerful. It was like world grabbing. Like this Pokemon, I would argue, is universal grabbing like if there's other universes or just other planets out there that intelligent life they would probably hear about the hype of pokemon if they existed that's how crazy the hype is right now leopard and aria oh, okay but it's hollow so yeah so we do get hollow so i think we had air packs last time but t but but guzzlord let me tell you about the ultra beast in general Ultra Beast, they were fucking hype. I was so stoked for them. They seemed like they weren't Pokemon or barely qualified as Pokemon because it made them out to be just like literally these different dimension aliens. And like, and like they even got their own unique Pokeball where it's like, oh, you just can't capture an Ultra Beast with a regular Pokeball or even a Master Ball. It's like, yeah, they use an Ultra Ball. And it's like, oh shit, what the fuck can these guys do? What's the story behind them? And they're just hyping it all up. And then, you know, when we actually go to play the game. Oh, dang. We're really down to two packs. I enjoy talking to you guys so much that I didn't know there were two packs left. But the Ultra Beasts were so hyped up. And then when you actually played it, the Ultra Beasts were more like an afterthought, you know? Like, 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 the Ultra Beasts weren't really integrating the story, even in the sequel versions of Sun and Moon. Um... The, 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 and then, like, when you caught them, their actual moves and stats were pretty substandard. Like, so many legendaries were better than them. It just seemed more like of a hassle or a gimmicky Pokemon. Like, a cool, than, like, you know, like a cool, unique legendary. Like, I was expecting these guys to be, like, fucking machines and tanks that, that put legendaries who already have ridiculously good stats to, like, shame. And I thought they're gonna be a bigger part of the story, but they're really not. And so Guzzlord, yeah, he's bad because I guess he can eat everything and stuff. But I don't know. Like, it feels like any, it feels like a pushover. Like, literally anybody could beat, like, any one of the Ultra Beasts. They're not fucking scary. They're not monsters. They don't evoke the same feelings of, like, Mewtwo, for example. Mewtwo. When you hear Mewtwo, you, you, you're terrified. Or, or you're like, oh, shit. Like, shit is real with Mewtwo. You know, because we, we have this whole backstory made in the lab. We got to see it play out. His hatred for humanity. And when it was time for Mewtwo to throw down, 
Mewtwo could fucking crush you into a basketball and fucking dunk you with just his mind. Like, Mewtwo was worth the hype. He, he, like, like, the hype was built and he surpassed the hype. Oh, wow. Reverse Hyper Potion. And, oh, I already got this. Grapple Locked V. I don't like Grapple Locked. I get an octopus fighter, but I don't know. Graptalock, I don't know, seems kind of lazy to me. But Mewtwo is worth the hype, you know? Mewtwo lived up to, went beyond expectation. But these Ultra Beasts, when they showed up, they did dick doddly nothing. And then when they tried to do attacks and shit, it, it just didn't work, you know? Mewtwo was an event. The Ultra Beasts were like a false, were like false gods, you know? They're just a lie. An empty caravan of lies. And an attempt to make the Pokemon company look like they're trying new shit. And so, yeah, I, I, I get, so, you know, I get why your wife would like Guzzlord, if that's what you're just talking about. Because Guzzlord does look cool, I guess, compared to the other, especially compared to the other Ultra Beasts. But, I don't know, Guzzlord's just not fucking scary. I know in the anime they try to make it seem like the Ultra Beasts are like, a bigger threat and shit and all that stuff and try to do some infinity war shit with it with like ash in them but i know it just didn't do anything and honestly like the way he yells and stuff oh look how bad that corner is damn straight out the pack yeah that that cut's horrible i hope the charizard's not in here because that's a terrible cut corner cut jeez um if the Charizard shiny Charizard V, if the Charizard V is in here, I mean, he's so disappointed because this cut's pretty terrible. I mean, the PS, I the cuts are like the centering is perfect, but this corner cut with that one right there was pretty damn terrible. I wonder which one that belonged to, cause dude. But yeah, there you go. That's my question. There's your answer. Yeah, it's banging because Pokemon's already on fire. My favorite Pokemon creature is the dragon. I mean, I love it. Wait, which dragon are you talking about? Because there's so many dragons. Also, are you talking about Dragonite? Because, yo, Dragonite's awesome. Love Dragonite. I, it's always... I've always wanted a Dragonite. It's really, it's really hard. I don't know why it's so hard for me to get one. Okay, so Obstagoon is our last one for this uh, Champion's Path. But don't worry, we got another Champion's Path. But we're alternating to one of the shiny... To, to one of the Shining Fates one. I don't know why. Like, Dragonite just always seems hard for me to get. It's just a rare Pokemon. And I know it's probably easier to get them now and stuff, but I just never took in the time to specifically get one. But there we go, guys. So, we got cool-looking cards, but we did not get Jack Diddly Squat. We want the Charizard V! But we did not get the Charizard V. So now, we're switching it to Shiny. Let me show all you guys what's up. Here's what's going down. Website. Look at that. Wow. Suicune. Already has 60 bucks. I pulled the Suicune last time. That was dope. I'm getting that PSA graded. The shiny Suicune. Already has 60 bucks. Charizard VMAX. 511. That's clearly the prize of this pack. And then, of course, the regular version. Because, you know, of course, not all of them are shiny. Skyla is what we want. Because, of course, the internet likes, like, you know, the, the cute Pokemon babes, you know? So the price is going to go up naturally. Like, that's just inevitable. Oh, Pokey Kid. I didn't know that was worth anything. Oh, uh, uh, I have mixed feelings about that. <laughs> <laughs> Um, it's gross, man. So, we're gonna, um, so yeah, what, so tell me your favorite dragon one. D describe it, RZ. Maybe, I, I know, I probably know what it is, because, fun fact, until recently, when I kind of stopped with Sword, I want to say around X and Y, I used to be so into Pokemon that I can name every single one up until i want to say after diamond and pearl i couldn't do anymore but i can name 
I, or it's either Diamond and Pearl or Black and White where I stopped. But I used to be able to name every single Pokemon that ever existed at that point. But what was more impressive is I can do every single one in their dex order. In their national dex number order. So I wouldn't just be like, oh yeah, you got this and that and that guy. And who else got No, I can name every single one in the national dex order. But now I can't do that anymore. i kind of grown out of that. I don't think I could do the original 151 either. But, like, I bet you if I, like, quickly brushed up on it, I'd be able to remember it. But, yeah, I, I, it's like, I can still remember every single Pokemon up until Diamond and Pearl or, like, Black and White. But I can't name them in National Dex Order anymore in one go, unfortunately, because I grew up a bit. But, yeah, this box is hella sketch. So, we're going to open up this Shining Fates first. Oh, I do remember the dragon. Oh, are you talking about Charizard? Yo, that's what we're trying to get in these. Yeah, I know. Charizard's fucking awesome, dude. You heard me? He's one of my top three. I love my boy. You're talking about the orange one, right? Because that's fucking Charizard, bro. Charizard's amazing. Unfortunately, he's not actually a dragon. He's a lizard. Which is bullshit, I know. Like, Charizard deserves better. And I know the Mega Evolution, they gave him the dragon typing... But it's not the same. You should have done it from the start. So open the sketch pack. Look at that. There's already a dent right there. Oh my god. What are they thinking? And then guys, for all you newbies, not much change with the elite box. You get, you know, you get that. Fucking eat that right there. You of course get the uh, player's guide that tells you, hey, here's all the um cool ass cards you can get boy like here towards the end yeah they're like look at all these cool cards that are in here so there's not really much of a difference but i'm showing it off anyway for all you newbies and then you know once you take it off you of course got the uh player's guide rule you got the player's rule book got the same set of die but notice how it's a different color for like the die yeah and then, you know, take that off. Boop. And then, of course, you get the Eevee sleeves. Because that's what Shiny Fate's main cover Pokemon was. Is the VMAX Eevee. And then, of course, the uh, promo card. Eevee VMAX. It's a little bent. That's why you have something solid between your hollows. So that way they don't warp like that. Energy packs. I'll gently toss that over there onto the pillows. Treat all cards with respect, even if they're resource cards. And of course the EV uh, tab dividers. And then, besides the white code card in here, which I guess gives out major stuff, the specific white code card that's not in the packs. But... As you guys can see, um, some of these are flipped upside down for a reason. Nope. Oh, nope. I was mistaken. So, looking at these, I'm going to show you guys something. Even though, I, I, so my original hypothesis was right. Even though the packaging looks hella sketch, I don't think these were tampered with. And let me tell you why. Even with this bit one right here. If you guys look or notice, it's going to be really hard to see because, like, sorry, guys. That's just how the cookie crumbles. Let me see if I can get better focus on here. All right, it looks like I can. So, as you guys can see with the pack right there, I'm trying to, yeah, it's really hard to do on this lens. But as you guys can see right there, it looks like there's, like, no holes or like, you know, excess, like, kind of thrown off at, on the edges. Like, as if someone opened it and then tried to re-glue it. And all the packs also came up right side up. Hold on. Let me, let me, let me focus back on my, on my face. Ooh, let's not zoom in on my face. <laughs> but all the packs came in right side up. Which tells me that... It was just more shitty packaging and, like, shitty handling. If these packs were coming up upside down, 
Or if they had, like, on the edges and shit on both sides, if they had, like, parts and you had a little bit of a hole. Like, this one does, but it's so small and it's on one of the corner ones. That sometimes happens. But it's not, like, in the middle of it, you know? It's not, like, instead of the corner. If it was in the middle, I'd be worried. But since they're on the corner, that's actually fine. And, uh... Yeah, looking at the bottom ones, too. Yeah, it just seems like the normal corner type of thing. Um, I'm still going to be cautious about this because, you know, it's when you get, when you get like, a packaging that looks like that, it's hella scary. But at the same time, it's, like, whatever. So, the fanny pack, yeah, so that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking more not the manufacturer. I'm thinking, although, yeah, they... I would say last time was definitely the manufacturer because we did... I'm thinking we're probably getting... I thought we probably got an air pack. We'll see how these packs go. Um, maybe my luck is just ridiculous where I get, like, hollows, but they're, like, not the hollows I want. But I think it is not manufacturing. I think what happened is that whoever got this and sold it to me just handled it real shittily because it was the outside, but the inside looked pristine as fuck. And then, of course, the promo cards, all of them are going to warp like that. Because, look at this shit. Like, it's in a single thing. The reason why hollows are in the middle is so that way the cards don't fucking bend. So, look at these common cards. And look how this card just naturally bends on it. Like, even though I know it's on a pack, look how it's naturally curving out, though. So, the idea behind putting the hollows in the middle... Is not is not just random. It's that way within the pack. They're keeping it straight since it's not bending, and that's why they put them in the middle. A lot of people will like tell you, "Oh, I don't know," and they make up some BS. But that's the real reason. It's that way the the you know the hollows don't bend because at that point you're not dealing with just cardboard. You're dealing with a special kind of like I don't want to say metal, but whatever the fuck hollows. Or holographic papers made out of. That's very bendable. Yu-Gi-Oh's notorious. Early day Yu-Gi-Oh cards were notorious for that. They're just fucking warping like that. Dude, 13 viewers? This is amazing. Thank you guys for the support. Didn't know if you even wanted Pokemon openings that bad. Because those are because it's dying down a bit. But it, it's clearly still popular. And honestly, I don't give a shit. I'm not trying to keep up with the trends. I just enjoy this shit. So yeah. Shining Fates. Ooh, look at that. I don't know what the fuck that thing is, but it looks cool. Looks like some kind of turret dragon. Mm. But yeah, I'm probably going to be hella sus of this. Because even though it looks fine and stuff, it's, it's just... It always sucks when you get, like, something that's not... That doesn't look proper. Because it just, it just susses you out the whole time, you know? So here's your code card. Oh, and speaking of code card, surprise, that's the code card from um, this uh, trainer's box. So there you go. There's your two code cards. Making it hard so that way the same one person isn't getting it. Like, I want to make sure that everyone has a chance to get the code cards and do their homework for it, you know? So four on the bottom. And we know we did the trick right. When there's an energy. Yeah, but Shiny Star V have have there have hits at the back. Wait, wait, hold on. Hits at the back? Uh do you mean on the back of the pack? Or do you mean the box? Uh twin jinx C. Because the packs. Yeah, if there's any tiny hole, it's like on the corner, so like it should be fine. How many Pokemon cards do you think you have in total? Um, live in Twitch, I'm live in Twitch, and on YouTube, so I'm doing both right now. Pokemon cards, probably not as much as my Yu-Gi-Oh collection because, as I've told multiple people on here, as a kid I was a huge Pokemon fan. But I didn't get into the TCG at the beginning because it was too hard for me to understand how to play the game. 
which I know, basic math, so hard, right? So I ended up t adopting the easier game, in my opinion, which was Yu-Gi-Oh! Which is fucking hilarious, because Yu-Gi-Oh! is the most complex, broken game ever. But as a kid, I thought that was easier. And then I had, like, such a good collection. I even had, like, a first edition uh, Mewtwo... Yeah, shiny star view packs have their your view map hit second to last card in each. Oh, okay, that's what you're talking about. I thought you were talking about like something was wrong with the pack, but yeah, um, I guess the only reason why I'm a little bit sus, dude, is because twin. I don't know if you saw the last stream, or I don't know if you follow me or not because I don't have that tool yet installed. Uh, shout out to Marcus. He's gonna show me how to install it to see who's like someone I already recognize and stuff, or who's already been following. But in the last stream. We were actually getting a, some air packs because there's some packs where we get the reverse, but not the hollow. Or we would get the hollow, but not the reverse. So, but that was just for Shining Fate. So, so that, that's why I'm really being a little bit opti a little bit cautious about it. But yeah, I had the first edition base set holographic Mewtwo and I had all this other stuff. But I, I didn't really appreciate my Pokemon collection because I feel like I didn't have an attachment for them. And I didn't realize that I actually did like collecting them at least until i sold them in middle school for 250 bucks for my entire collection like i got rid of my magneton my ho -Oh, and i fucking regretted the moment that the bin was placed and i didn't know they could take it back and that's always been my biggest regret speaking of regrets oh um uh, da -da -da -da. oh more petco it's like the the pikachu of this one Okay, cool. I thought this was a VMAX version of it. Okay. Hmm. I like the gimmick of this guy. Where he gets hangry. And just gets hella mad at you. <laughs> yeah, shout out to this guy. Oh, oh Twin Jinx is now volley. Thank you. Also... I want to just notice, for some reason, the Twitch followers isn't showing the most recent Twitch followers. So I need to fix that. I will fix that later, my dudes. Let me see if I can fix it now. No, I can't fix that. Sorry, guys. For some reason, Streamlabs OBS fucked up again and thought that I wanted the most recent follower, want one the most recent subscriber on YouTube and not Twitch. So, I will fix that for you guys. But the alert came up, so that's hella cool. <laughs> Thank you so much, dude, for the follow, Twin Jinxie. But, yeah, I instantly regretted that. And so, dropped the reverse rested shield. But luckily, the pad below me is soft and clean. That's the... Because, you know, you do drop it every now and then. So, I want to make sure that my area is clean enough to where that happens. Nothing gets ruined. But yeah, I sold my um, collection and I instantly regretted it. And I got hella nervous trying to get back into the collecting game for Pokemon. Because it, I just feel so bad every time I'm reminded of my original collection. Because I got rid of my Ancient Mew and all these cards I had emotional attachment with. And like, I just regretted it so much. And I think I started getting back into it when in college... My close friend Pastor, who I just met freshman year, he was just going to throw in his binder full entirely of like these Pokemon cards, especially vintage ones. And I was like, nah, you can't do that. So I just took it off his hands. And so that kind of what started me back up. And so I'd lightly collect it. And, you know, I'd say in the know-how, like I didn't know specifics, like how to tell which one was a rarity or whatever. But I, I kept loose know-how and then... Once the second boom started up, some people really wanted me to start collecting these um, or doing openings of these. So I was like, you know what? Fuck it, dude. You got to face your uh, your regrets at some point, you know? So I did. And uh, now I'm just an avid collector of these. And I did my hella research and um, work into making sure that I'm accurate as possible. Am I like island grown where I'm like an in and out expert? Nah. But, you know, I'm like Tony Stark. In the regards, I became an expert overnight. And I can probably... Like, like Island Grown's probably more qualified than me. 
But I would have Island Grown's respect if he were to quiz me on my Pokemon knowledge, if that makes sense. Oh! Oh, let's go! Ditto V, shiny! Yo! Hells yeah! That's not the V Max, but dude, it's still a big ass pull! Hells yeah, I fucking love Ditto, especially this shiny version. Let's go! Damn! And look at the air pack! Because look, we didn't get a reverse shiny. You know, I think Shiny Fates is just going to be notorious for um for, 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 for having errors. Because, yeah, same shit's starting to happen again. But, yo, let's fucking go, Ditto B, motherfuckers. Oh, my God. Hells, yeah. Oh, hells, yeah, dude. Chill, fucking flex them emotes, people. Dude, that's a big-ass pull. Let's fucking go. Oh, shit. I'm, I'm actually been curious how Ditto works in the TCG. Let me read this shit. I'm glad I sleeved it because I don't want to accidentally spit on it from all the hype. Oh, man. v over transformation. They choose the basic V Pokemon for your discard pile. Switch it with... Oh, so this can switch to any of your Pokemon you've discarded. That's a V Pokemon. That's how Ditto works. Oh, hells yeah. I fucking love that. But let's fucking go, dude. Fucking Ditto V. Okay, for those of you that give a shit about prices, I don't fucking care about prices. I, I just use the prices to show how popular they are. But the VMAX is is like the third rarest, but is the third most valuable one out of this set. But obviously Ditto is a bit lower because, uh, you know, you can just use any Ditto to, to you know, do your thing. But, bro, fuck yeah, dude. Ditto's like my favorite Pokemon. He's, he's top 10 mentioned earlier and i love his shiny form i just love blue so yeah this is top loader worthy let me show you motherfuckers how to top load watch this shit so you don't just stuff it in contrary to popular belief it fucks up the card or could potentially fuck up your card and there's an easier way you just slide it in enough and then once you've gotten a good amount in you know, when it's on the tippy top like that, all you then gotta do is just lightly tap. And now, boom, it's properly loaded in. Notice how it slid all the way to the bottom now. And super protected. And now we can put it away safely. Right there. God damn, that's such a good pull. Hells yeah, dude. We're on a. Dude, that was our first pack, bros. We're on a. Was that our first pack? I think that was our first pack. No, that was our second pack. We're on a fucking roll, dude. And I think... And you know what? Shiny Fates having a lot of errors makes complete sense. Because here's the thing. Which is why I feel like they don't do it here in America compared to Japan. In Japan, you can get shiny Pokemons in any booster box or pack. It's completely random, just like in the game. But when you have localization, translation stuff... You're going to run into a lot of production issues, which is why I feel like rather than go through those production issues, they have it to where, you know, you do these um, releases of the shinies every now and then, like a trainer box and stuff. And so now you're seeing here with the trainer box, you're seeing those issues they would have faced on like a more massive scale if they decided to do it like how they do it in Japan after translating everything, when now suddenly you have all these errors because it's not the native language and now you're trying to put them in random packs throughout all the Pokemon stuff. So you know Shiny Fates, yeah, you, you're not guaranteed a Shiny. Those don't want to get a Shiny, we're most likely going to get an error because, because in the machines, it's weird to explain, but pretty much the machines, not only are they dealing with having to put a Reverse Hollow in a Hollow, but now they have the extra factor of, oh, we got to fit in a random Shiny, which doesn't seem like a lot, but it actually is a lot. But god damn, that Ditto pull is so epic. Makes me wonder what VMAX Ditto is like. I hope it doesn't look weird. I hope it's just like a bigger Ditto. That'd be amazing. Fuck yeah. That was Pog. Amy Tobin, you're right. That was Pog as hell. Uh-oh. Was that my alarm? Nah, it's not time yet. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Ethan Klein made a funny tweet. He's built like Dr. Robotnik.
So there we go. Dude, hells yeah. Okay, guys. You know what we're after, right? The Charizard B-Max. We're going to get it. We're going to will it into existence. We're going to get that Charizard B-Max, bros. I have a good feeling. It's going to happen. Please let it happen. Please, Daddy-sama. If we get the Charizard B-Max, it literally pays for all these boxes. So we got the Reverse Luxray. Wow. Okay, see, look. What the fuck? Yeah, that is a rare, but... It's so weird, yeah, because the last one was literally all hollows. Oh, I got a slightly, you know, higher rare. Yeah, because it does have the rare star, so it is rare, but it's not hollow. And I thought the Elite Box was to have that. So clearly, something's going on with Shining Fates. Or maybe Shining Fates just doesn't have enough hollows to do that. But then we saw with the error that when we got the Shiny card... We didn't get the reverse hollow, so something's really up with this pack. It's getting a lot of errors, and I think that goes to show why they don't do it like how Japan does, where any random pack can be a shiny god pack, you know? So that said, let's do another pack. Bada bing, bada boom. Thank you to all the 13, 17 viewers watching over either on Twitch dot tv slash mega awesome nerd or youtube.com slash mega awesome nerd uh i really appreciate the support just viewing helps if you want to see more cool stuff like this either follow me on twitch or subscribe to my youtube channel because i do more than live streams i actually do video essays and stuff and memes and so yeah so you actually do get content by subscribing to my youtube i'm doing a huge uh mega vid as i call it on Pokemon collecting called Poke Clout coming out soon. That's the one I've been hyping up forever. And after that, I plan on just doing regular videos about random topics. But the Poke Clout one is a pretty big one I've been doing research on. It's like a big homework one, you know? Thwackery. Mm. It's like a prepubescent teen and always thwacking. Ooh, Eevees. Ooh, hello, Eevee. Oh, you're looking cute. Hells yeah. Um, we got the Gossip Flower. Uh, that looks weird. I always thought Trudel was like a was like Galarian Squirtle for like a bit. For like a good minute. Oh, Shiny Thwackery. Oh, there we go. Hells yeah. That looks hella cool. And then there we go. We, so we got Hollow Weezing. So we didn't get like... Your, see what I mean, guys? There's no Reverse Hollow. It's like we got the Shiny. And then we got a Hollow. I don't get it. This car is, yeah, this package is gonna have constant errors, but you know what? Weezing looks dope and dapper. I'm gonna do that. And just because it's shiny, we're gonna box top it. Also, because uh, Rillaboom is pretty popular, I don't know what Thwacky is. Thwacky doesn't look all that impressive to me, but you know what? Ah, oh, dude, look how, uh, look how gross that edge is. I'll be able to fix it, but let's look at all that residue on it. I think I can still fix it and get a proper PSA rating, but you want to see what the edges are like because that's going to tell you what the booster pack is going to, what the other booster packs' is, uh, cuts and looks and stuff are going to be like in the end. Or, or, or probably going to be. I don't know if this thing with the trainer box. It's not a full on booster box, booster box, you know, but you always want to look out for factors like that. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Shiny thwackery. Mm. Thwack, thwack, baby. <laughs> Is that how you say his name? Thwackery? Thwack? Put in some Mike Tyson um, lingus stuff in there. Thwack. Or right, this is more like Christopher Walken. I'm trying to go over Mike Tyson, but I maybe sound like Christopher Walker right now by saying Thwackery. We got the white code card. Bada bing, bada boom. Then one, two, three, four. Energy. Fire. Rotom. Floatzo. Ooh, Floatzo always look beautiful. The Bwezo always look cool. 
Snom Coughing Cacnea Glucifer Snom Oh reverse hollow Celebi Let's go oh, oh yeah let me careful of that and the last one is Oh 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 oh, oh. shit secret rare Aquaman V Max Oh damn Oh damn, that's the only VMAX version of that Pokemon you can get in this. Hold on, hold on. Let's uh we're gonna box top both of these motherfuckers. Reverse how Celebi probably ain't worth much, but I love Celebi. We're gonna treat it with respect. I'll put that beautiful one right there. Damn, this is a good ass poll. Holy shit. It's time to get Pogalicious, baby. Oh yeah, I'm gonna make a moots this uh week and have them available. I don't know if there's a T tier zero emote, but there will be tier zero emotes because I'm not in this for the money. I, I just in it for the fun. And you know what? Maybe I'll do tier one emotes too for all you people that apparently want to give me money and do this. But damn. Holy shit. Let me let me look at the price of this. It's gotta be worth something. Five bucks? <laughs> this is five bucks? Bro, look how beautiful and pristine that is. You didn't tell me that's a five dollar car. Fuck you. Fuck. Fuck all these trendy ass motherfuckers. It's worth less than like the regular version of this card. That's like not the V Max. But wow, I, I say fuck that. That's hella beautiful. I love that. That's probably hella rare. That that probably tanked our chance of getting Charizard. And you know what? They see a beautiful car like that. I'll take it. And then of course, you know. Reverse Hollow Selby, super beautiful. I love Selby, it's one of my favorites. Oh no, it's coming? Damn, I hope so. I would love to get the Charizard VMAX. Suicune is like one of my, Suicune is like one of my favorite legendaries. Like Mewtwo is my favorite, and then Rayquaza, and then Suicune. So to get the shiny Suicune, I was beyond ecstatic for that. God damn. But I thought that card was hype. Clearly four people didn't because they just laughed after that. They're like, oh, you got the fucking cake one. <laughs> there we go. Look at this shit. There's your code card. All right. One, two, three, four. All right, here we go. Boop. Boop. Probably put these cards in the common area the next turn. Boop. Spin rack. Rowlet. Ooh, Rowlet's one of my faves. Here we go. More Keppo. Ooh, Reshiram Hollow. Nice. And then I'm guessing this is reverse. Oh, there's no reverse. What the heck? All right, whatever. Reshiram. I'm more excited about that. Reshiram. I love Reshiram. Out of the two, I ended up choosing Zekrom, though. I think Zekrom just got a little bit more oomph. But now I've grown to appreciate Reshiram's design. You know what? Even though Reshiram's probably not worth much, this is something I probably would display on my wall. So we're going to box top it. There we go. Beautiful. Getting some real good legendaries out there. <laughs> I also think it's kind of cool how um how in the Pokemon TCG legendaries Pokemon's and regular Pokemon's don't uh, like are pretty evenly are pretty even field. You know, like legendaries don't trump shit in the TCG game. I think that's just cool. It's all about the card trading, not just the Pokemon. I think. I think if they'd done it to where the legendary Pokemon were obviously the super powerful one, that would, one, limit the meta of the TCG, and two, ruin the collecting aspect of it. And I'm glad they realized that, because I feel like that would have been a death for them had they gone that route. Where the rarity of the card and the collectability of the card and what's good in the meta is based on, like, the skill of the Pokemon rather than if it's a legendary or not. Because imagine just at tournaments just seeing everyone playing Mewtwo's or Rayquaza's. That'd be hella boring. 
But, like, the TCG really celebrates the versatility of Pokemon. Something that I think the video game kind of misses sometimes. In competitive play, at least. But, you know what? It, it's whatever. It's a, it's a nitpick. Okay, we got that energy. Ball guy. Tropius. Rusted shield. Got that Cacnea. We got that Choodle. Got that Spinarak. We got that Cuffin. But yeah, ask me anything or tell me about your day. Oh, Shiny Hatnia. I'll save that for all you Hatnia lovers out there. Oh, Decidueye! It's not shiny, but let's fucking go. I love Decidueye. I'll take it. Decidueye. I'll say out of the low end starters, Decidueye is overall my favorite. But I think Incineroar is cooler than Decidueye. And we're talking about just final forms, you know? Just final evolutions. There you go. And then, of course, we're going to be careful with the Hatnia Shiny. There's probably somebody out there who likes Hatnia. I don't know if Hatnia is cool or not. I've not played Sword of Shield yet. I'm a Dexit person. So it took me forever to, like... After they've released, because they've so far they've gotten all the Pokemon except for 200 left. So I, I guess I broke that vow a little bit early because I really wanted to try Sword and Shield, especially since you guys were asking me. Oh, excuse me. Serious Mike. What is your rarest Pokemon item or cards that you own? All right. So. Rarest Pokemon card that I own. Uh, if we're talking about modern one, I would definitely say the Pikachu V. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh wise. But here, I'll just switch to the main cam so you all can see this. So, Pokemon wise, Pikachu V. Or Suicune Shiny. For the modern ones. Uh, I need to do research into the binder because I haven't had enough time. To see like if there's any differences in or if there's any rare cards in the binder, which I'll get to in a second. Yu-Gi-Oh cards. These are the original three GBI Egyptian gods. Those are my rarest Yu-Gi-Oh cards right there. Besides, of course, the ghost rare first edition Wing Dragon of Ra that we pulled live on stream when I first started doing all this business. So those are my rarest card cards. But in this binder, um, there could be potentially even more rare cards. Because I don't want to pull it out. But my friend Pastor, um, some of these are like in bad quality. So they're not going to be like PSA 10s. They're probably going to be like PSA 6s or 7s. But, yo, we got vintage base set. Even though it's unlimited, it's still shadowless. Uh, Squirtles. There's an Eevee in here somewhere. I think Eevee's probably the rarest one. You got Charmander. That Charmander is actually looking pretty good, like a PSA 8. Uh, I think if it took pretty decent care of these. But uh, let me see. Where else? Where's the Eevee? I think the Eevee is the rarest thing I own in here. And so if I were to argue which one's the rarest one. Oh, there we go. Eevee. Right there. Vintage Eevee right there. So I would say out of all of them, Eevee's probably the rarest. Um, Rowlith maybe second or with the Charmanders and stuff. And yeah, I would say Eevee's the rarest based on what I'm looking at. But you know, I go in, I, I, I guess I've never taken the time to sit down and like actually seeing which ones are rarest. Because I just honestly enjoy collecting and keeping my favorite ones. And then yeah, I'll keep tabs on which ones are valuable. But I never got really asked that question before. So, thank you for allowing me to show this off. My friend Pastor has, like, more interesting cards. Because beyond the trainer ones, once we get past the vintage stuff, I can't believe he threw away this collection, which is now my collection. But, like, yeah, he's got some of the modern ho -ho stuff. Hoenn stuff. Sorry, my bad. I didn't mean to say Ho-Ho. And I'm trying to see if there's any rare holographic ones here or anything that are, like, interesting. But I just haven't had the time to look at them yet. But yeah. 
I would say those are like the rarest that we have. And then there's like one cool shiny card, but we'll look at that later. Well, I'd definitely say, yeah, the older ones are are hella rare. The fact that, but they're PSA, I feel like they're PSA 8s or 7s, most of them. And then some of them are 9s, and I know there's one that's possible 10 in there. So I feel like those are my, like my rarest ones. Although the PSA 6s or 7s, it's like they might as well be worth as much as like my Egyptian gods or modern stuff. Because with the PSA levels being down in quality of the card, that's going to bring the value or the price down a lot too. <laughs> so yeah, that's my uh, answer. And then, let me see, what do people say? Have you opened a vintage Pokemon card pack yet? No, but that's the dream. I wish I was rich enough to afford that. Or I knew enough rich people that would come together and do that. But there was one point where I was thinking of going in, uh, going in on one of the packs for Island's um, Jungle Packs opening. But I, uh, I can't financially justify it right now with me just finishing up grad school. So the next one. I'm waiting on the next one. Um... Rock and Roller 91 says, I need to trade with you, B. Some of those older ones? <laughs> hey, damn. Um, yeah, if you want to trade, man, like, as long as we come up with a system we both agree on where we feel like one's not scamming the other and we can make sure that we're not scamming each other, I'd be down to trade with you. I'm very cautious with people online because, I mean, I met some cool people online, but for the most part, a lot of people end up being kind of cray. So I, I try to avoid trading. It takes me a while to trust someone online with like any information about me. <laughs> Bro, same. I want to open up a Team Rocket so bad. Yo, me too. The Team Rocket pack cards are hella dope. But I would say out of all the cards, the Vintage cards that I want the most, I want the Lugia. I want I want the Charizard. Charizard, I... Yo... I don't know if I'm allowed to... I feel like I'm allowed to talk about this because he's selling them. But I have... I have a friend slash good acquaintance. I would say it depends on how they define it. But I know a guy who apparently... And, like, and like basically he's... She, he, I met him because he's the boyfriend of, like, a good colleague slash friend of mine who I met through another friend of mine at film school. Anyway, this dude... For some reason, I don't know how, but as a fucking kid, convinced his parents to just buy him a shit ton of Pokemon card. And, like, this dude collected every single hollow first edition base set Pokemons. And now I'm helping him sell all that shit on eBay. And not only does he have all those first edition base set Pokemon hollows, he also has every single first edition base set non hollow. It's nuts. And I'm trying to help him out with selling it. Because I guess he wants to get rid of it. Which makes me super sad. I don't know him well enough to where I could be like, Hey homie, want to give me a free super duper expensive car that you could just be making hundreds of thousands. That you could just be making thousands and thousands of dollars off of. Like I don't know him that well to where you would be like, yeah sure homie. But I just, I just want to be a part of it. So I was like, dude, I'll help you sell these for free. So that way they're going to good home and you're getting a good price for them. And just that way I had the privilege and honor to say that I was in the orbit of this event. But that dude has like a PSA 8 first edition base set Charizard. Which is unfortunate because if he has a PSA 10, that dude would be getting like $400,000 right now for that card. Easy. Oh, Choodle. Speaking of Choodle, I farted. My bad. And Manaphy. Yeah, so something's up with uh, Shining Fates. Compared to Champion's Path. I'm convinced. Some error must be going on here. Or this pack. Or this cha or, or you know. This trainer's box must be notorious for errors. Or this something I just don't get. Because. There should be a hollow in there. Besides the reverse hollow. Where are they on eBay? Um. Let me see if I can find the link he sent me. But he's definitely one of the first ones. Uh. I remember someone was offering him like 16000 That's the highest he got. And the thing is, even I underestimated how much the Pokemon Boom was. Because before this Pokemon Boom, 
that PSA 8 Charizard would have been worth 10000 Like, 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 I'd be like, 16000 they're overpaying, take it. But this guy, but, but now it's like, you can get a PSA 8 Charizard sold for, um, whatchamacallit, for like 23000 recently, like, on average, which is nuts. PSA base set first edition so I'm trying to find it cause I remember he showed me the um was it on my Instagram here guys I'm trying to find it for you right now either send to me on Facebook or uh or fucking yeah so here hold on Tracking that down for you guys right now. Okay, so that means Ali sent it to me here on Instagram. Let me see. Yeah, Kevin sent me a picture of it. Where did it go? Oh, there we go. Um... So I can't find the eBay listing. It's probably still up. So if we compare it with this picture. But yeah. There's this Charizard he sent me a pick of. Obviously near mint. But yeah he got this grade in like 2000s. But as you can see. It's pretty obvious why it's a PSA. Because the you can tell there's a little bit of damage there. And then also the centering is off top to bottom. Like left to right it's pretty close. Um, what packs am I opening? I'm opening up Shining Fates and Champion's Path. But yeah, I'm trying to see if, uh, I'm trying to see which one is his because he never gave me his eBay name. I should have asked because, like, in the off chance I can find someone. Um, but I wonder if this is him. Wait, oh, hold on. Oh, wait, no, he only shows the front. Damn, wait. Oh, wait, I could look up the number. Yeah, okay, cool. All right, so that's not it. Can't believe we're hunting, I can't believe we're hunting this shit down. <laughs> Let me see. His is 0246. All right, so if we find 0246, that's probably him. Sorry for that. It just seems like some people here are interested in actually buying it. So let me see if I can track it down quick. If not... We'll just move on, you know? Sucks to suck. Alright. Um, do a few more tries. Uh, that's Japanese. Um, da -da -da. I wish he told me. Oh, uh, you know what, guys? This is what I'll probably do. Oh, that's French. No way that's going to be it. This is what I'll do. I'll um I'll ask him and then and then I'll post the eBay listing and the comment of this video um in like the in like, you know, in the future. Also, he should have put Shadowless on Oh no, it's a first edition. So yeah, do it. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I was like I was like why didn't he put Shadowless? It's like yeah, cuz it's a first edition, so of course, it's going to be shadowless. Yeah, elite trainer boxes. Don't worry about it. Open them cards. Yeah, I know. I'm going to do that right now. So, yeah. I'll put that in the description for you guys. So, there we go. Shining Fates. After this, we got one more box of Champions Path. path and then um, one more Shining Fates. But what I'm seeing here is that I think Shining Fates is just prone to errors. Either that, or they're probably short on cards, so they're like, oh, you know what? We don't need to put a reverse hollow and a hollow in every single pack. I doubt it's that one. Honestly, think it's just errors of just having to mitigate all those different types of variants. He's also dealing with rares, but also shinies and stuff. Dang, guys. A lot of people love just going to look for that Charizard. Dang, sorry about that. <laughs> but now we're back. In regular gear. There we go. So good. Get rid of that energy. 
The real fans are here to see the epic pull if we get it. Come on. Charizard V Max Shiny. Let's go. Come on, baby. Ball guy in. Oh! Gym trainer. Okay. Okay. Not leader. All right. Is this actually worth anything? I doubt it, but, you know, it's got a girl on there, so it's probably going to be worth something. Just because. Oh, Trent, Jim Trainer Full Art. Oh, eight bucks. All right, cool. Hells yeah. I think I want to try to play Pokemon again, so you know what? Maybe I'll keep this put in my deck if it's a good card, but we all know why it's worth money. We all know why, you gross internet people. We're all, deep down inside, we're all gross. Let's be honest. But it's how you channel that grossness determines if you're creepy or not a creep. There we go. I box top that. Because that shit's actually worth something. There we go. Oh, now I shot back up to nine. Thank you. I feel like the analytics on Steam, on this uh, Steam Labs OBS is probably way off too. Alright guys, last pack of Shiny Fates until we switch over to Champion's Path and then, you know, then switch back to sh the, the other box of Shiny Fates we got after this. So, let's see. I'm so weak against this quality packaging. Uh, I guess I gotta split it down the middle, like... Oh, there we go. Make it clean. I like destroying the packs, though. So that way, resealers and scammers that probably dig through trash or buy them on eBay from other people can't get, like, a good one to reseal and put fake cards in. There you go. There's your code card. Bada bing, bada boom. Oh, jeez. All right, one, two, three, four. All right, here we go. Here's a leaf. Oh yeah, that one point there will be an intermission because there is this one eBay thing I'm following very close. So <laughs> I'm gonna snipe. Thanks. Ooh, Z Zarud. I think that's the new one of the new legendaries. That looks cool. Wait. Oh, I thought that my screen moved like a touch screen for a second. And then Yamega. Okay, cool. So, lackluster last pack, but you know what? The fucking ditto was hype. Let's show. I'm gonna show off the ditto quickly because the ditto was hype. And, you know, some of the other shinies. And also, of course, the, the Rainbow Max. So, our champion pass sucked. But we got the we got the Gym Trainer. We got the Hatterina shiny. The Sidueye. You know, that's that's a personal for me. So, we're not going to put that out of that pile. But we got Reshiram, which is probably not worth a lot. But, you know, still pretty cool. Selby shiny reverse. Um, there we go. VMAX, Secret Rare, Akamari, uh, or what was it? Al Creamy. Al Creamy. Mm, creamy, my stummy. Tummy wummy. The Wacky. And then, of course, the Shiny Ditto V. So, pretty good haul. It's not exactly what we wanted. We want either that Skyla or we want that uh, Charizard VMAX Shiny, but we will take it. It's funny, in both of these packs, we're going for the Charizard VMAX Rainbow and the Charizard VMAX Shiny, so... Or the Secret Rare Charizard V. I still, I, I would like to get that. The Charizard VMAX Shiny, I would keep. Any of the Charizard VMAXs, we would have to wait and see until after I play Shield to see if I have an attachment to where I'm going to keep them or get rid of them. Eventually, over the years, I would still hold on to them let them build up value. And then when they start dipping, just be like, 
Bye, Felicia. No, I'm kidding. I would still keep them. And then once, you know, age happens and it becomes retro, then that's where its real value comes in. All right, guys. Last Champions Elite Chainer box. I wish my doggies were here to bless it. But we kiss it. We bless it. And now, yeah, this one looks hella clean. Not sussed out by it at all. We're opening it. Will we get the Rainbow Charizard? Or more important, I think, and so does the internet barely, the Charizard V Secret Rare? We're about to find out right now. So, we obviously don't need to see what's in this, so I can just do that. That. I can open this up way quicker. Because we don't need any of this stuff. Like, uh, there we go. Get out of here. We don't need you, old man. Put these Ted Packs over here. And get the promo. And the white code card. Put the energy in the sleeves right there. Put the dividers right here. Oh, this promo looks a little warped, but not as bad. So, good job. Alright, guys. The last 10 Champions Path Packs. Oh. This is hype. We're doing this. We're just going in raw. Fuck it. There's your uh, code card. There's your code card. There we go. And first one is Gardevoir. So, uh, Gardevoir art. So let's do it. coat card by the way i think some of my favorite oh i've been listening to a lot of the pokemon ost lately from like games and anime
able to hear me. There we go. Thank you for letting me know. Sometimes I need to get a new um, sound blaster or something because this one glitches out every now and then. Just when I got my computer fixed and got like a new and better one. Like now that's crapping out. Sorry about that. But yo, let's go. Dreadnought B Max. Oh my God. That's hella hype. I don't know why the reverse, they have any reverse hollow of the energy cards, but we got that too. That's worth anything. It's kind of a waste of hollow paper, but whatever. But thank you, Kelsey. Yeah, there you go. I, I pay attention. I got you guys. I don't know why my uh, Sound Blaster K3 Plus has been doing that, but I'm, I'm, I'm probably going to have to get it replaced. Because you guys can see my mic is an Audio Technician uh, 2020. All right, dudes. That was a hype pull. The Dreadnought VMAX. But we want the Charizard V Secret Rare. That is what we came for, brothers and sisters. And that is what we must pull. So we shall pull it. We will manifest our destiny in our brains. And we will clench our butt cheeks. And make this happen. Ah, uh, Yes, card daddy. Opening the packs as we desire. Here we go. Here's the code. For all you people who like the codes on the white coat cards. We are manifesting the secret rare Charizard V. It shall happen. It shall be done. It's law. Literally, the universe has to give me a Charizard V secret rare. Otherwise, what they're doing is illegal. And I can sue the universe in court for, for emotional damages. We will get this Charizard V or die trying. Let's fucking go. Come on, hype. Hype. Come on, everyone. Hype with me. Hype with me. Ooh, reverse uh, hop. Everyone hates him. Oh, and Zygrade. Okay. <laughs> Maybe they're just waiting for the Charizard V to, like, you know. Maybe they're just waiting for the Charizard V to, like, you know, make a dramatic appearance. I imagine it. It's probably late to the party, you know. Yeah, bust out the white claws. Ugh. My fan is in the way. And my knee, I hit real hard. It's like hella sore. And like whenever I bend it, it hurts. Or move it. Yeah, so. I'm avoiding just moving my knee. <laughs> I can feel between these two. Yeah, one's swollen, the other one isn't. So, something happened. <laughs> Hopefully I don't need to go see a doctor. Probably not. Wait a few days. Health insurance, America, yay! I love democracy. USA, USA. Uh, here we go. Code card for all you code card lovers. All right, guys, let's will the Charizard secret rare into existence. Hold on, do I perhaps? Perhaps it's not showing up because I need to remind you guys the prize. The prize is these two. Yes, the Charizard V Mass Secret Rare is technically worth a lot. But the card I really want, the one I'll actually keep forever. Well, it's a 600 bucks? Who? <coughs> oh! Holy shit! That's, oh, that, man, that's that's inflation, but yeah, that's the average. So we're going to go by the average. But damn, that's 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 hot. Mm. <laughs> I don't know what I did right there, but... Mm. But damn, I want this bad boy. I, I want him. That's my baby. I'll call him Prudence. Um, after... Uh, did I do the four card trick? Yeah, I think I did. After, I'll name after Lizzie's cat, Prudence. That's why I'll name my secret rare Charizard. Come on. Charizard B, show yourself. I am manifesting you. 
Come on, Destiny! Oh, Reverse Hollow, Marini, and... Oh, no! Cursula V! Damn! Damn! I was like, oh, is that it? Because it looked a little black, but nah. As a white background, Cursula V. Oh, Cursula. Sorry, it's the Alolan version. Ooh. Damn. We got we got plenty more packs left. We got we got I think like what six more? Oh, oh, 14 minutes. Okay, that's the eBay thing. That's the eBay thing. At 9:15, guys, you're gonna watch me live on stream. Attempt to bit snipe someone else's eBay dreams of getting something I've always wanted, which doesn't really have a lot of value. Uh, excuse me to be honest but i really want it as a kid i've always did i'm a man child now with financial responsibilities that i can neglect and i want this very specific item that i'm being vague about and i'll show you guys what i'm talking about in mere moments All right, there we go. We got the packs open. We got the code card. Boom. Yeah, but we will be taking not. A, you guys will see the action, but I'm gonna be super vague about it because I don't want anybody stream sniping me for this very co for this collectible. I'm being super vague and mysterious about. Okay, we got Hop. Fuck you, Hop. You wasted a reverse hollow. Could have been a cool one. Kakuna. Trubbish. Hatterina. Inke. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's cute. We got an Inke. Then we got a reverse hollow Inke. And then finally. Oh, Dreadnought V. Okay. I don't know why my voice cracked there, but I think it's cool. Dreadnought V. We're going to. So we got the full set. We got Dreadnought VMAX and Dreadnought V. So all we just need is the Swabble, which we already got. So not Swabble, um, Cuddle or whatever its fucking base form is. So yeah, hells yeah. We got the whole set, guys. That's hella cool. Proud of us. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm, there we go. And so now, I just grab that. We got the full set. Hells yeah. Okay. What time is it? Seven more minutes. All right. We got. We got. We got a little bit more time to open these before we take that quick break. Ah. Uh, Yes, Pokemon, Daddy. Come on, Charizard. I believe in you. I know you're in here. I know you want me. I want you bad, dude. Like, if you were a girl on Tinder, I'd, I would super mega swipe on you and pay so much money for you to, to for you to ignore me. Just in an attempt to get you to notice me. That sounds super sad and desperate, but that's how desperate I am for this Charizard V. Let's fucking go, boys. Boys and girls, let's fucking go. We need this Charizard V so bad. We need it so bad. I, I, my room has no windows. It's super hot in here. I'm starting to sweat. Make it all worth it, universe, please. We need that Charizard V. Okay. Come on. Charizard V, Charizard V. Okay, Reverse Hollow, Rock Ruff. All right, Charizard V. I believe in you. Ah, oh, sent to Scorch. No. Ah, 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 ah. All right, that's decent. <laughs> but we can do better, guys. We can do better, and we will do better. Charizard V is out there. 
We will find it. Even if it takes forever. Oh my dudes, even if it takes forever. Hold on. Oof. Alright. Five more minutes until I go I go to town. Hold on. Let me check on my phone. I do want to be double sure I don't fuck this up. Alright, yeah. Because five minutes will come and that means there's four minutes left. Okay, cool. We're going to snipe the fuck out of this guy. <laughs> or girl. Whoever. We want to... I really want this collectible, dudes. We're, we're going to make it happen. Ah, my knee. Code card. Come on, Charizard V. Please, I'm suffering. And the only cure, besides opening this room door, since I don't have any windows, is to get you. Heal. Okay, energy reverse hollow. Super weird why they do this, but whatever. And Obstagoon. <laughs> I want the Charizard V. Come on, universe. I did all the. I did everything you asked me to. I didn't commit any felonies. Only committed misdemeanors. Um, I've been a good boy. I got good grades in school. Come on. Give me the Charizard V. I know you want me to have that sexy looking Charizard V. I want I want that Charizard V in me. I want to grind it up and serve it as soup. And put it inside my body. Come on. Just give me the Charizard V. Just give me the Charizard V. Obviously, code card. All right. One, two, three, four. All right. What do we get? What do we get? We got the fire. We got the Absol. We got the Great Ball. We got the Durst Joy. Not Pokemon Center Lady. Um. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm pulling these wrong. Sorry. Okay, Vulpix Reverse Hollow, and it's a trainer card, but what is it? Oh, Piers Rainbow! Oh, hells yeah, that looks cool. I don't know who this Piers guy is. He looks like a gym leader. Either that, or he's probably the leader of, like, the evil team. Team Yell. Oh, seven bucks! Hells yeah! Hells yeah, Piers, you get a top loader, unironically. Let's fucking get you in there. That's hype. That's definitely worth it. Of course, tap it. And boom. Yeah, Piers. Rainbow Secret. Damn, does that mean there's no VMAX? Does that mean there's no Charizard V? No! Fuck. <laughs> he used up our secret. But you know what, Piers? You're cool. Damn. That means we're probably... The Charizard V is looking grim, dudes. The dream is looking grim. Only misdemeanors. <laughs> Only misdemeanors, man. You know, like jaywalking. Or being African American in America. <laughs> Those kind of misdemeanors. Oh, yeah. Vulpix, I guess we'll sleeve you too. Because you're a reverse hollow. Get over here. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh my god, Vulpix, oh my god. Get over here, oh my god. Okay, guys, the eBay shit's coming up. Pulling this up right here. 
I'm not going to show you guys what it is until the very last minute. One. Like, not a minute sooner. Like, literally, we're going to, hopefully, no one snipes it for me. If people snipe it for me, it seems like this collectibles being sold pretty constantly. So, I feel like I'll be able to get it somewhere else. I want you guys to be a part of my life. I do. And so that's why I'm sharing this sniping with you. I'm going to be that guy. I'm going to be terrible. And I'm going to snipe it from someone. <laughs> there we go. I'm looking at the clock. Yeah, see, there's my phone. It's telling me, hey, have it pulled up. Get ready, boo boo. Ink J. Watch me pull the Charizard V. And having to deal with this and fucking, um, yeah, I see it's 915, thank you. Why don't we pull the fucking Charizard V and having to deal with this and the collectible? Scrafty and, oh, Grapple, ha, 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 we have like a third of you. No wonder you're like, worthless. I'll still respect you and put you in a sleeve. And Scrafty too. I swear we got in that poll last time. I swear. Is it me or is it that like deja vu? Okay, guys. Three more minutes until I show you what I've been sniping on. Speaking of sniping on, we got the last pack. I, I've been showing the codes, man. I'm not going back and showing them. So you just have to catch the current codes I haven't shown yet. There's other people looking for the codes. So they've probably already taken them. But yeah, I'm showing the code cards. But I'm not going to show the old ones. Because there's just too many of them. And besides, we're about to snipe something in like three minutes. So there you go. There's your code card. Follow you guys going after the codes. Okay. Do, do, do. And thank you for coming to my stream, by the way. Jathan Delach, man. Please subscribe if you want to see cool stuff like cool streams like this or play video games or, or an upcoming video essay about the whole Pokemon TCG boom that's recently happened. Keeping my eye on the clock. This is our last pull, guys, for Champions Path. And we got one more Shining Fates. So hopefully, come on, Charizard V. Let's go. Come on, Charizard V. Reverse Scraggy. I'm not feeling confident, dudes. I'm not feeling confident at all. Oh, thank you. Streamlabs sucks. So it's not going to show it, but I really appreciate it. So you know what? Pretend this is you that came up. Oh, Pretend that's your name right there. Sorry that Streamlabs OBS sucks. I'm trying to get it fixed. I even paid Prime. Oh, okay. Altria. Damn, no Charizard V, guys. I'm really disappointed. You know what I'm not disappointed in? This eBay hunt we're about to do. Ah! Oh, 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 oh spoilers, spoilers. <laughs> I forgot to have that uh, tab open. I don't want you guys seeing what I have when I'm going to snipe. But... Wait until the last minute, dudes. So you're waiting until the last minute with me. We are sniping something. I would like to regale you guys on, in fact, what I'm sniping. Does anybody here remember Pokemon the first movie when it came out in theaters? Back in 19... What was it? 1990... 1999 or something like that. Let me Google it because I don't want to sound like an idiot. Pokemon... The first movie. 1998. I was close. I was off by a year. I was a really young kid. Don't blame me. Well, remember how Burger King had those golden plates? Oh, yeah. No problem, dude. Any times. Like, yeah. I, I show all the codes all the time. But you know how we had those golden plated cards from Burger King? As a kid, I wanted them. But my dad would be like, nah, they're too expensive. Well, guess what? I'm a fucking adult now, and I can be irresponsible and fucking get it. So, right over here, 
30 seconds left on the clock. I am playing a game of risk. I'm going to put in a max bid of 150 bucks. And we'll see if we can get not one of the golden placards, but all six. We are going nuts here, boys. Oh, someone did the bid. All right. Place bid. Confirm. 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 Yo! Let's go! Go! Oh, damn it! Yes! Yes! Oh! We did it! We got the fucking golden placards. Let's fucking go! Let's go! They try to outbid me. They try to outsnipe me, but I outsniped them. But let's fucking go! Oh! Hey! 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 Put them pogs up, motherfuckers! We did it! Hells yeah! Look at this shit, dudes. Yeah, I'll pay now. Hold on. <laughs> Yo, fuck yeah. This is epic. Um, you know what? Let's do my, uh... Yeah, let's do my, uh, fucking <laughs> it's credit card this time. Just to add a little bit of credit score. And then let's change my billing address to the proper one. Sorry, guys. I just want to make sure that I get this uh, fucking thing. But did you see last night? Dude, I put in 150. It went to 133. And I thought the dude wouldn't have enough time to retaliate. Oh, my God, dudes. Hold on. I don't want to show you guys my card number, so let me, uh, or my address, so let me see if I can zoom in on it. I want to show you guys the total of this. This is hilarious. And also, it's destiny. It's destiny what's, what's going on right now. You know what? While we're waiting for that, let's open up the second pack of Shining Fates. Adam, I got you. Hell's out, Kelsey. Thank you. Dude, like, y'all think this is weird, but these, uh, these golden packs are really, like, like, like from Burger King, those are just hella cool. Oh. Okay, cool, never mind. I thought it, okay. So check it. Without showing my address. Or my card number. Check out the total on this order, guys. It was it was destiny. One hundred and sixty nine dollars for those Burger King packs. Fuck yeah, fuck yeah, we did it, we did it, dude. I don't know. Oh man, I hope the replay caught that. But like when I saw the I it, I put in one fifty, it said one thirty three, so I got it. So I beat the person, and there was like three seconds left. And somehow that motherfucker threw out a Hail Mary, and it did not beat my 150. So I fucking almost got sniped when I sniped my original target. But we fucking did it, dudes. We fucking did it. Oh, my God. Nintendo, uh, meh, meh, meh. Wow, look at this. Okay, guys, I just, before we open up this Shining Fates, and you know what? I'm, I'm, you know, putting away the parts that we don't need. Oh, I'm showing you guys this. Like, look at this. Yeah, I want to see the original listing. Oh, okay, yeah, that's how we do it. Like, yeah, so Burger King had these cool, um... Whatchamacallit, you remember these Pokeballs? And then, like, you got a seal of authenticity, and then... And then here, here's a good example of one. And then, yeah, it's obviously 14 karat gold. But then, like, you got the seal, and then, like, yeah, you got the Pokeball display. And that's what I won. And obviously, they're not worth 50 bucks, but all six of them, or 150, that's a damn good deal. Also, I don't know why 
ancient Mew. Oh, it's uh okay. I thought it was like a actual ancient Mew. I was about to say I don't know why that one's selling for so cheap or low. But yeah, I'm so happy. I I I I will never get the ancient Mew back. That I stupidly sold as a middle schooler. I still hate middle school me for that. But I will gladly. I say this is a good win. I say this is a good redemption. What I just did. I got some of that childhood back. With this Burger King thing I've never been able to get. Of course, promo Eevee. Uh, let's put these sleeves somewhere else because we don't need them. We don't need them. Mm, European. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum, bum. But I'm so happy we sniped that, dudes. Yo, that was live. <laughs> that was hype. I don't think these are sketch. I'm looking at them. None of them are upside down. All the holes look the samey same. Um, bottom ones, uh, both of them look good for the most part. The one that's concerning a bit is this one, but since it's from the corner, it's not that big. It's fine. So, yeah. So, we got 10 packs. And you know Since I'm opening them live, like, if anything sketch happens, TCG player will obviously refund me. And, of course... It's coming from Texas too, so it's probably gonna be delayed. But look at that, the code card. There's your code card. Take it. Use it as you will. And we got our first Shining Fates pack. Let's clear out all these common cards. Today has been a good day, man. Like I wish the pools were better. I wish the pools were just as good as that clutch victory I did on that memorabilia shit. I got all six placards, dude. I'm probably keeping the um, Pikachu one, the Charizard one, the Mewtwo, and maybe Togepi. Probably Togepi, if I'm being honest. And then the other two I'm going to get rid of because Wally, Wally World, who gives a shit? And Jigglypuff, like, I, mean, I guess they're anime fans for Jigglypuff and everything, but... Huh. That's a little different, but... I'm still not sketched out. Like, yeah, the, I, I still think it's manufacturing errors but we'll see i'm hoping this wasn't fucking messed with and we end up getting some fake ass cards or like stacked cards or whatever there we go last 10 pack of the night people this has been hella fun we've been getting good pull decent pulls decent pulls some we got that ditto ditto was uh, probably the hypest one you know, we don't need that sweet coon. We already got that sweet coon, dudes. Our goal. Our goal. Let me show you our goal. Just to remind you guys one more time. We either want the Skyla full art, because the internet is full of random pervy people. Oh yeah, we don't need that anymore. Um or we want the Charizard. V Max Shiny. That's what we want. So we either want Skyla or we either want the Charizard V Max, but unlike the one where it was Rainbow, this one is Shiny. Those are the two we're aiming for. Can we get this pull? Can we clutch it? Like I clutched that eBay snipe? Even though I probably should have done it a, little, a, a smidge later. Because I admit, I did a lot of room for error. Let's find out. We got that leaf energy, boy. Wazil, Dartix, Rodham, Cacnea, Gossifler, Snome, Trapinch, is a reverse. Okay, Spinarak is a reverse hollow, and Shiny Weezing. Okay, there we go. So, see, this is looking like a normal, what we expected from these specific kind of packs for trainer boxes. So, I definitely feel like Shining Fates probably just has a lot of errors in it. Just because of the whole random shiny Pokemon aspect. 
I feel like that's what's going on with Shining Fates. There we go. Uh, excuse me. Look at that. VMAX Charizard. It's a sign. It's a sign from God himself. That I will get this. There we go. This one doesn't have like that little indent. So we're going to open it. By splitting this shit down the middle. Ooh. Oh, that was clean. Damn. Damn. Call me Mr. Clean. Shave my head bald and bleach me, baby. Because that was fucking clean. Sorry for my fucking language. That's not clean. Code card. Alright, guys. Send, give me all the likes. Give me all the follows. Give me all the subscribes. Give me all the good vibes. Give me all of your comments. Do whatever what must be done to channel enough positive energy to clutch the Zard. Are we going to get it? Are we going to get it? Are we going to get it? Come on, baby. Charizard VMAX. Come on. Let's fucking go. Oh. Sandaconda. Shiny. And. Oh. Green Nut V. Okay. Okay. As Trump said. Okay. Hells yeah. Kelsery. Thank you. Who will not. Jo who will join Kelsery in the good vibes? To bring us the VMAX Charizard that we are trying to deliver onto us. Yo, do you mind sending me code the guinea snipe and I can't get them quick enough? I show them on screen, you get them. That's how it goes. Because everyone wants them codes. Sorry, Dan. I wish... Hold on. Is that... Wait, is that... If you're Dan's word love, hold on. Hold on, Dan. Let me look at you. Okay, different Dan. All right. I thought you were a very different Dan. But, yeah, no. Nah, I, I, I just want to be fair to everyone because everyone likes the white code cards. So, yeah. I just show them on screen. And it's up to you to pause it and race to it. But, thank you so much for watching, Dan. I appreciate the support. And the YouTube one and the YouTube video is pretty rewindable, so maybe there's some cards in the past that haven't been claimed yet towards the beginning. So speaking of code card, uh, boop, there you go, code card. And then after that, one, two, three, four. Oh, wait, did I? Nope, I did not box top that. All right, hold on. Got a box top. The shiny Sandaconda. I haven't played Sword and Shield, so it looked like a normal ass Pokemon to me. I'm really excited to play Sword and Shield. I'm really curious to see how the story deviates. I think I got the kind of the main story, or at least parts of it, spoiled. But none of the DLC. So I'm really excited to see that. Come on. I'm with you, Nightwalker47. Let's go, Charizard. Ooh, I'm sweating. Ooh, Snom, shiny. Oh, that's cute. We're fucking bagging that. Bagging and tagging that Snom. Do people like Snom? Snom looks hella cute. I'd be very surprised if people did not like Snom. All right. And, of course, oops, the other shiny... Hollow, I mean, is oh, air fucking regular ass, regular professor's research. Fuck you. But you know what? We got the shiny snom. That's pretty baller in and of itself. There we go. Shiny snom. I like snom. It looks really cute. Let me look on here. If snom shiny is worth anything. Wow, yeah, people really like Shiny Snom. It's 12 bucks. Damn. Yeah, people do like Snom. That was, yeah. Keeping you from my personal collection, little guy. Maybe I'll learn to grow to love you like one of my own children. But yeah, thank you guys. If you're subscribed, if you're not subscribed for watching, I really appreciate it. 
really cool to see other people just get to hang out with you and open up cards and you get to learn about them and then people and then and then people ask you questions and they get to learn about you and then also it's like sometimes you, they ask hard questions where you have to really think about it that you don't really ask yourself and so in a way you end up learning a bit about yourself so thank you guys for making me do this accidental therapy session I really appreciate it I really do there we go Sometimes I won't even announce when I do the white cards. I just do them because I want to give everybody a chance and throw them off. Make them have to pay attention and work for it, you know? All right. Oh, come on. Charizard, we cannot let Nightwalker and Kel and Kellersey down. Kellersey, how do I... Kelsey, how do I say your, 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 your tag? How do I say it? Kellersey, like is it like celery, but Kellersey? How do I how do I say it? <gasps> Whoa! Rillaboom shiny! Oh damn! Okay, let's fucking bag and tag that boys. God damn, that's a hot looking fucking monkey ass monkey fuck right there. Mm. And of course we got dreadnought rare. Fuck you. Air ass packs. Damn, Rilla Boom V, let's fucking go, shiny. Oh, that's a big one. That's fucking big. Look at that. Damn. I like the shiny version of Rilla Boom. That looks so cool. Way cooler than the original. God damn, that's beautiful. And it seems like everyone agrees too, because that card goes for like 15 easy. God damn. Wow, fuck to put that right there that definitely deserves a box topper this uh yeah adam i'm with you this pack is um i feel like this is the shiny pack that we should have been getting from the start because damn these are some really good pulls none of this uh bullshit like that we had with the first one or the one that we did like a week or two ago like like we're trying to get some really good ones Yo, so shout out to the sketchy ass company that clearly didn't um treat the package with respect because because we're actually getting some good pulls now. We got the moves. Yeah, we got the mommy moves. Hmm. Wacky. Ball guy. Trope ass. Coughing. Shinx. Grookey. Torah pinch. Yanama Rusted Shield. Oh, that's reverse hollow and then Where's the regular hollow? Come on. Come on. I'll still sleeve you anyway. I love you, Rusted Shield. I got shield because Zamazenta looks cooler than um Zykin. I don't know. He reminds me of a fluffy husky. So obviously we're gonna sleeve that. All right, this gotta have the VMAX Charizard. It has this art on it. It just makes sense, you know? Treat the pack with respect. Split it down the middle. Ooh, yeah, there we go. That's That was so clean. That is not family friendly at all. That could, that could get me banned on Twitch for not safe for work content. That was such a clean open. White card. There you go. See, what's funny is that I said white card, but I really showed it longer than I did to keep everyone on their toes. After this pack, we got four more. So this is the halfway point. We have crossed the halfway point with this. Come on, Charizard. I summon you with the good vibes. Brazil, oh, that's hella cute. I love Brazil. It's like, it's one of my favorites. Oh, okay. I don't know what this ghost fuck is, but cool. And then, um, Devil. Okay. I gotta say, the Fox line name sounds pretty fucking racist. Not gonna lie. He got, because he got Nicket. And then Nicket evolves. Oh, like nicking stuff, but you know. 
It's it sounds eerily close to no, I'm kidding. I'm not I'm not obviously mad by it, but I just think it's funny that you have the Pokemon called Nicket, which sounds really close to a slur that'd be super offensive to me. And it involves in the thieve role. Like, come on. But it looks like we got a shiny um Sinisty? Sinisty? Oh, Sinister, but with T, so Sinisty. We got a shiny version of that. Cool. Alright, guys. It's the final four. It's the Elite Four. There we go. That's a perfect analogy. Good job, Pokemon. You done again. I wonder if there's an Elite Four in um in Sword and Shield. I am uh, a pity. Hi, well, how's it going? How's it going, Ion? How you doing? You doing? You having a good day? We're having a great day. We gotten some pretty decent pools. I won huge on this bid for eBay. For like some. Burger King Pokemon Gold Plate Memorabilia. And now we are down to the final four packs. Alright. And I'm sweating my balls here in this windowless room. Man, my name got butchered. I'm sorry. I'm I'm really terrible with names. My mom's name is Jennifer. And one time I called her Karen. And this was before the Karen thing. So... So, I'm really terrible <laughs> with names. Type it out how I'm supposed to pronounce it, and I'll get it right. <gasps> oh, ooh, reverse. Oh, and Zerade. All right. <laughs> Hype died. You're good? How about you? Me? I'm doing good. Today I got vaccinated. My left knee, I did something with it where it's bruised or something because it hurts when I bend it. So, I'm resting easy on that. And I thought, you know what? Probably too painful for me to do video games after this, but I want to open up my cards. So we're opening up these final cards. I'm hoping we get something. I hope we get one of the Charizards because I'm sending some other cards to get PSA graded, but I held off on that because I was all like, these packs are coming in. What if one of them is the Zard, you know? So hopefully, oh, that's, we've been opening up these packs real clean. So we're down to the last three. Been really disappointed that there's no VMAX Charizard shiny. So hopefully one of these last ones and it, it, one of these last three packs are down to two now. Hopefully one of these ends up being the Charizard V. But yeah, thank you for the support watching, especially if you're new. Like I really appreciate the support. Anything helps watching, subscribing on YouTube or following on Twitch. Besides streams, I actually do do video essays. My my big one that's coming out, my first ever mega video. That's what I'm calling it. On the Pokemon TCG bubble. Oh, Kyogre. Yes, it's shiny. Okay, I was about to say. Is that like a plain Kyogre? Oh, that looks hella cool. We are bagging and tagging that one, boys. And then, of course... Yamega, because something's just off with this pack where it's not giving us the reverse for whatever reason. And we're gonna still top box top it because because Kyogre's a pretty big deal. People like the Kyogre. I really like the artworks of these legendaries. Look how beautiful that card is. But yeah, that's how my day is going. So it's been a pretty good day. What would make this day perfect if one of these were the Charizard. But just your guys' support and hanging out with you guys and learning about you cool people just makes it all worth it. I'm about to turn on this fan in a second at this rate. But we got one more pack after this, so I'm going to tough it out. Alright. Come on. Charizard! I know you're in here. Lend me your energy. Come on, everybody. Good vibes. Good vibes. Good vibes. Come on, Charizard. Charizard, I feel you. No, I'm not going to do show tunes. And get DMC a strike. Okay, we got the Reverse Hall Rillaboom. Oh, and we got Bird Keeper. Okay. Okay. 
<laughs> I can do a good Trump on a good day. Damn. Okay. I have... I, Donald J. Trump, am the bestest president ever. My, nobody has ever beaten me as a president. I, I'm the bigliest president ever. 13 bucks for Bird Keeper. Damn. Okay. And it's, uh, yeah, it looks cute. It's full art. I can see it. The girl ones are a rank higher than it, though, for obvious reasons. Which, that I understand. It's like, ugh. Hey, internet. Stop. <laughs> Alright, guys. This is it. And you know what? We need to play some music. We need to play some music. We need to hype this moment up. We need to overhype it. Is this going to be a Mewtwo moment? Or is this going to be an Ultra Beast moment? See how I brought that conversation back from earlier? You, you, you see how I did that? That I Yeah, I'm a good listener. And I'm good on my feet. Except my knee. My knee's in constant pain. Ow. I uh, shouldn't have hit it last night. But here we are. But guys. But guys. Ooh. Ooh, 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 that's a, uh, ooh. All right, guys. Pokemon, OST, Elite Four. No, 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 what's it called? The Indigo. Indigo Plateau. All right, here we go. All right, boys, it all comes down to this. Boys and girls, are we going to get the Charizard? Or will we fail? Will this be a Mewtwo moment? Or will this be an Ultra Beast moment where it's overhyped and we are completely disappointed with how it turns out in the end? Let's find out. This is for all the marvels. Come on, everybody. Bless the packs. Let's go. Ah, uh, pack. Come on, Charizard. We want the Charizard V Max. Trying to open this. <laughs> I'm so nervous. Uh, uh, okay, go, go, go. I'm trying to, trying to do a Mr. Clean. Damn, it's a. Uh, this pack is fighting back. Yo, what the frick? Okay. There we go. Uh, oh. 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 Come on. Open. There we go. All right. <sighs> Last code card. There you go. So all of you people here leashing for code cards, you may now leave. Unless you want to see if I pull the Charizard VMAX. Alright. He's four. Last card, guys. Last pack. This is it. This is the moment. Energy. Rusted Shield. Alda Gross. Dartix. More Peko. We got the VMAX version of that, though. Brazil. Nicket. <laughs> Come on. Cacnea. I'm nervous, guys. I don't feel like it's there, but I want to believe. I want to believe. Is that reverse hollow? Reverse hollow Eevee. Damn, we probably didn't get it. No! I gotta believe. I gotta believe. Come on, at least Skyla. But give me the Charizard. Here we go. No! Cut the music. That's some bullshit. <laughs> Damn, we did not get the Charizard V Max. We got Frozmoth. You know, I bet you that's what Snom involves into, but Frozmoth looks elegant, but I'd rather have cuteness. So I'm not involving Smom if I ever get the honor of getting one. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. 
We did get the reverse Hollow Eevee, which is cool, I guess. In like 10 years, when my kids are into Pokemon, that's going to be worth something. Whatever. Whatever. Ooh, 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 excuse me. Yeah, guys. Damn. So, we got some pretty decent pools overall. But, yeah, last week was more hype. So, you know what? I should have sent it. It's okay, though, because with the PSA rankings, uh, the way the ratings are going in the grading, it's taking like a whole year for the economy broke man's version. <laughs> So I'd be probably waiting like a whole year or two for them. So it's all good. You know what? I'm glad I waited. Um, but frick. Really wanted that Charizard. I'm so sad. <laughs> Damn. But I had a great time with you guys. Shout out to Sirius Mike for subscribing. Sorry that the notification didn't come up. Um, same with Adim if you subscribed. Um... Or Ion. Sorry, my bad. It's just that Streamlabs sucks. And doesn't update really on... Whatchamacallit. On YouTube stuff. But yeah, and then thank you of course to Twin Jinxie, Rockin' the World 91, and Young Fish for uh, following me on... Uh, for following me on Twitch. This is really awesome. Man, those nerd, that nerd number is getting bigger, guys. Like, like, hold on. Oh, yeah, by the way, I'm updating my overlay to where this meme shit is showing. So, like, if you guys have memes, find me on Discord, Mega Austin Nerd. Just DM me some memes or, or, you know, type in the chat recommendations for memes to look at. And if there's any memes I like, I'll put it right there. But... Yeah, this is, um, but overall, all I just got to say is that, yeah, we didn't get the Charizard, but next time, next time we're getting the Charizard, for sure. So, a few quick announcements tomorrow, just on YouTube, I don't know if Twitch does this kind of thing, and it's probably too hard for me to find out, I'll figure it out, if they allow it, I will do it, but I will wake up at 6 a.m., and do the uh, Pyra and Mithra uh, tutorial video. Hopefully no one on the other side of the wall gets disturbed by me if anything hypes happens. And whatchamacallit. Oh wow, five viewers on Twitch? That's amazing. Dude, I actually get to rate someone. That's going to be epic. Okay, and then, yeah, then the three are from YouTube. Okay, wow, thank you guys. This is really awesome. At one point, this peaked at, like, 20. That's nuts. I don't know what happened there, if, like, a raid happened or something, but but I'm really appreciative of all the support, guys. I really am. I used to do this for, I did this for, like, fun. And then, you know, my YouTube channel is just for memes I upload that didn't really work with my film stuff on Vimeo. And then for some reason, you all really thought that I should be doing this. And, I, and, like, even though it's, like, a small number, like, 195 subscribers, like, like note that I was, like, at, whatchamacallit, like, I think 10 or 30, somewhere around there when I started actually, like, you know, taking this as, like, a serious hobby. And now I'm at 195. It's freaking nuts. I can't baffle it. I don't think I'm worthy of any of that, but you guys think I am. And so... Even again, my aspirations are like being the sidekick and helping people with their productions rather than being the main star. I want to do you guys justice for the, all the immense support. So I'm going to keep busting my ass and give you guys the best content. So I really hope you enjoy the upcoming mega video that's going to be made and out hopefully next week. Um, some stuff in my personal life, like with my movie, is probably developing that a bit. Um, and... And yeah, and, and the Pyramithra, 6 a.m. Twitch, if I figure out um, what settings to put it where Twitch doesn't ban me, we just get to watch it. I'll do that. I'm a bit of a grandpa at this, but yeah, thank you all so much. That's the end of my stream. Oh, thank you for the hearts, Kelsery. And uh, yo, does anybody have any recommendations on who to raid? You know what? Let's 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 find someone. We're going to... Yeah, let's let's have some fun with this, guys. Let's see 
Let's pick our, unless anybody's got some recommendation, let's pick who we're going to raid. For all you YouTube people, at this point, you're just watching free content. Um, because we're going to figure out who we want to raid. So we're going to raid, so yeah, so we're doing that right now. Um, so as you can see, um, obviously we're not going to do these big ass fucking, um, channels. Um. Well, let me see. Clearly, we're, we we should probably do Pokemon. I don't want to send people to like fucking um, <laughs> which I don't want to send people to like phasmophobia after doing a Pokemon card opening. <laughs> that just seems hella weird. Um, Big Max TV um, exclamation mark shop. Wait, wait, hold on. Is that like a command to buy stuff that like buy merch or something? I don't have merch, but that's just wow. That's a huge honor, Big Max. I don't know if you follow me. I don't have that tool that shows that, but thank you if you think I'm worthy to get merch from. Jesus Christ, um, I think that's hella cool. Wow, that's that's baffling and that's a lot of pressure. <laughs> You know what? Let's 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 do one of these live opening guys. I'm I'm a, I'm a raid. I'm gonna send one of you guys to there. Um. Let me see. What's this guy doing? Searching for the Charizard and Pikachu. That guy has the same show as me. Ten viewers. Um. You know what? This guy's got a little bit cleaner. Um. I wanna. I don't want somebody too big. You want? Woo, woo, this guy. I'm feeling this guy. This. This guy is weird. This guy is great. Let's let's do him. Oh, he's watching the post bowl and stuff. All right, cool. So guys, I'm sending you. We're gonna raid him. Show him some love. Um, I don't. I wish I had emotes and shit, but <laughs> we don't. So you have fun. If you didn't want to see Pokemon stuff. I apologize. Whoops. That's not how I do a raid. There we go. Yeah, so we're going to raid Danimals 56. So if you guys are into more Pokemon stuff, that's what we're doing. We're raiding Danimals 56. Um, and yeah, if you, and then, you know, at least show up and then leave quickly. You know, don't make me look bad. <laughs> So thank you guys so much. I hope you have a lovely day. I'll let you guys know how the knee goes. Wish I didn't damage it, but you know, we live in a society. So here we go. We're going to start a raid. Fucking support people. Two viewers are ready for the raids. Damn. Four viewers are ready for the raid. Come on, you other two. I see you. Yeah, we're raiding now. Let's do this. Night, guys. Bye.